Hello guys, welcome back again to Ituge TV. My name ni Mtuasonko. For those of you, wanya hawani jui. Na today, it's another my life in prison story. And today, tukona Mr. Derek. No, not Derek. Derek ni mwenye ako behind the scenes. Tukona Mr. Dennis. <laughs> there you have Dennis. Dennis ni yada kona tupigia story yake. Ya, yeah, akiwa in jail prison, akiwa in prison, in life after prison. Uh, story ya leo, it's so interesting. Today's story you're going to learn a lot. Na, it's also an alert to so many people when you wanna jipata in situations when you wanna jipata wanna lose dough without them knowing how they are losing money. So today Derek's story will teach us more than enough. We need to know about how people are conned. <laughs> Sinuko <laughs> libro. Nipo. Eh, just and uh, to be a good one, to be an interesting one. I never say a story is interesting if come a story is interesting. So to angu, buckle up, go get uh, a snack or two. Na wangeze bundles, kama una tumia bundles. Na if you haven't subscribed, kindly confirm if you have subscribed. Na kama pia ume turn all the notifications bell ndi ukwange ever notified kila time tunawalete a new video like this. And also, if you have an interesting story kama ya Dennis. Hizi ndi zo number zetu. Reaches out through these numbers na ito kwa freshi. Mr. Dennis. Yes, sir. How are you, sir? I'm okay. Karibu sana. Karibu sana. I'm happy. Na wana umeanza kuvaa shati kama ya <laughs> our president. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> vintage. Yeah, vintage. Yeah. I'm happy. Thank you very much. Mm. Before ata tumeingilia story before ata tumejuana kabisa kwanza chukua hii fursa salimia watazamaji wa mbiweni nani umetoka wapi na tunaenda tukijuanaanga sawa sawa yes habari ma fans mimi naitwa Dennis Juma mm-hmm. nimezaliwa Siaya County okay na ile sub county natoka inaitwa Ugenya Ugenya yeah Ugenya ndiko watu wanabebanga nanga na vitu kwa country bus mali orengo anatoka nikikwambia hivyo utashika aya <laughs> 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 eh, so <laughs> wodi yangu ni Ukwala. Mm. Nimesoma Yenga Primary School. Mm. Nikaenda Mbira High School. Mbira. Mbira Shee. Boys eh. Tushe interview mtu ametoka Mbira Boys. Eh hiyo ni shule ya Patrick Lumumba. Ah. Eh, wow. Then from that sikumaliza huko nilienda nikamalizia Yenga. Mm. Tena nikatoka Yenga mm. nikaenda kumalizia sasa Siranga Secondary School. Bro, which is just a neighboring shule, school. Nimeshom, nimesoma shule kama tatu. High school? Yeah. Kwa nini? Uh, nilikuwa na some discipline cases. <laughs> uh, so nilikuwa napigwa transfer, <laughs> uh, uh, suspension. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So nilimalizia siranga, secondary uh-huh. school. Uh-huh. That was uh, 2011. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So nimezaliwa in a family of seven. Mm-hmm. I'm the second born in mm-hmm. our family. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, awesome. Mm, that's my background. Okay. Yeah. So, bro, ume soma, umemaliza mpaka high school. Yes, nimemaliza form 4. Mm. Uh, 2011. 2011. Yeah. Sasa ndio join form 1. <laughs> 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 eh, <Hey>, watu kushindana. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, umemada high school. Yes. What's next? So, vile nilimaliza high school, mm. Nilianza ku hustle pale mtaani. Mm. Eh, sasa nikaajiriwa kazi na uncle wangu. Alikuwa amefungua timba ya mm. eh, na akaleta woodwork machines pale. Mm. Sasa nilikuwa na act kama manager wake hapo tu yenga center. Okay. I worked for some time. Mm. Na kulikuwa na certain bar inaitwa mm. Beirut. Beirut. Sasa hii Beirut mm. ilikuwa imeajiri msichana fulani hapo mrembo sana anaitwa Yunis. Okay. So nilikuwa na winda huyu dem. Eh. Hey. So kwa ile harakati ya kuinda huyu dem tukaingiana. Mm. Sasa nilikuwa nafanya kwa workshop. Kiwi na by man. that time yeah. mwenye alikuwa nafanya kama counterman ya ile bar mm. alikuwa ametoroka. Mm. Sasa ilibidi sasa huyu Yunis apandishwe chewa akakuwa kwa okay. counter. Okay. Sasa waiter alikuwa amekosekana pale. Okay. Sasa ilikuwa inakaribia December. Umejua mm. wakati wa December mm. uh, bazi na make a lot of profit. True. Sasa mwenye hiyo ba uh, alikuwa ananiona pakubwa nikishirikiana na yule dem. Okay. So akaniambia bro 
Uduri ya alikuwa ananishikilia hapa kaunta lakani ya maenda. So, nisaidie kushikilia hapa. Mm. Asa mimi nikaona hiyo ni opportunity mzuri. Ya kukatiana. Ya <laughs> kupata hiyo udem. <laughs> eh, so, nika jipa hiyo shuguli. Mm. Nika shikilia pale. Mm. So, kwa hiyo harakati, vile nilikuwa na shikilia pale. Umejua hiyo hoteli, hiyo hiyo ba ilikuwa na guest houses. Mm, mm. So kuna mzungu fulani alikuja pale. Mm Huyu -hmm. mzungu kukuja akaulizia room. Sasa huyu udem akanituma, huyu dem wangu Eunice akanituma mm. enda umuongeleshe. Mm. So I went I talked to this guy, alikuwa mfaransa. Mm. Sasa umejua kizungu alikuwa na babanya bambanya tu, mm. yani hakukua anajua kizungu fluent. Mm. So akasema nataka room nikashindwa nitapeleka huyu mzungu wapi juu zile marum zenye tuko nazo sio ni kama inafika ile kaliba yake mm -hmm. so nikamwambia kuna nyumba so nikaenda kwa ile room nikatengeneza nikasafisha vizuri kabisa mm -hmm. so nikamuita aende aone huyu mzungu kwenda kuona hii room akaona ya kwamba bado si poa vile mm -hmm. akaniambia kwamba hiyo mattress yenye iko hapo si poa mm -hmm. So huyu mzungu akaenda akanunua mattress mpya. Mm -hmm. Akaleta nikabadilisha ile nikamwekea hii yake. Akaika vitu zake hapo. Yeah. Uh, hita juu ilikuwa na socket sasa angeweza kuchemsha maji alafu mm -hmm. anaenda kuoga huko nje juu bafu zilikuwa nje. Okay. So kwa hiyo harakati nikaanza kuingiana na huyu mzungu pia. Tuna interact mm -hmm. kila siku akitoka kienda kazi yake siku mjua anafanya kazi gani. Mm -hmm. So ikafika wakati Hui mzungu anatoka asubuhi anarudi jioni. Mm. So siku moja mimi umejua ukizaliwa huko ushago sana. Mm. Au wazungwa zungu tunawaona moja moja. Yeah. Na pakubwa ukiona mzungu unaona ni pesa, pesa fulani. Eh? Yeah. So mimi nikaenda nikamuliza bro what are you doing? Eh? Uh, juu nilikuwa na hustle. Na by that time kuna organization fulani ilikuwa imetupatia kazi mm. ni, ni, ni hospital by the way okay. ni private hospital so mm. tulikuwa tunafanya program ingine mm. inaitwa youth peer provider youth peer provider eh, we were talking to youths concerning mm. uh, reproductive health okay so nilikuwa conversant na kazi za za social community wa okay. eh so, huyu mzungu akaniambia yeye anafanya na certain organization inaitwa Save Life International. Mm. Eh, Save Life International ina deal na mambo na huduma za kijamii. Mm. Yaani wanapatiana usaidizi. For example tuseme ina Lake Belt area like uh, Nyanza. Mm. Watu wanasumbuliwa na malaria kwa sababu ya hiyo Lake Victoria. Yeah. So wanapatiana vitu kama nets, mosquito coins, eh, mm. mosquito repellent jellies. Mm. So vitu kama hizo. Alafu pia wako na orphanages wana support mm. hata wana plan kujenga ingine hapo around tu hapo yenga mm -hmm. so nikaulizia mimi kazi ya kwamba wanaweza wakani consider wanipatie kazi so mzungu akaniambia yes there are jobs mm -hmm. do you have a laptop wakati huo nilikuwa nimetoka high school sikukuwa na laptop yeah. lakini kuna wazangu wali manage kwenda university mm -hmm. wale ambao wali qualify direct so kuna besti yangu anaitwa Hesbon Sombe alikuwa campus mm. alikuwa amejoin sasa alikuwa na laptop <laughs> so mimi nikachukua ile opportunity yeah. uh, niende kwa Hesbon ni mconvince anisaidie laptop so kwenda kwa Hesbon akasema ako na laptop lakini haizi akanipatia tutaenda na ye nee. nikamwambia yeah, yes there is no problem twende na wewe so huyu mzungu akanipatia some letters eh. nipelekee uh, area chief Mm. ya hiyo area yangu anaitwa Mr. Dongo Bare mm. nikampelekea barua ya ku authorize this thing to happen yeah. mobilization yani yani okay. amasishie watu yani sasa mm. tukue tukimita watu in groups okay. so kupelekea huyu assistant chief hii barua akasoma tu akasema it's okay akanipatia go ahead mimi nikaenda kwa market chairman mm. nikamuongelesha market chairman pia akakubali Sasa ni kuwapatia kazi ya kunimobilizia watu mm. na mimi nae na coordinate na mzungu. Okay. Sasa mimi ndiyo coordinator. Okay. Mejua ujui mzungu wa jamuona. Yeah. So, wa watu waka mobilize watu. Na sasa ile kitu ilikuwa inafanyika by that time, mm. kuna organization ilikuwa imekuja uko Seya County. 
-hmm. Wakati huo Obama alikuwa president US. Okay. Sasa alileta organization inaitwa Give Direct. Uh -huh. Give Direct ilikuwa inahakikisha kwamba nyumba yoyote ya nyasi, mtu yote yako na nyumba ya nyasi, a lego mm. constituency. Hiyo mm. nyumba ilikuwa inatolewa, unapewa pesa. Alikuwa na support tu watu na fund 87,000 mm. mm. ya kujenga nyumba ya mabati. Okay. So hiyo organization ilienea sana hiyo area. Mm. Sasa sisi pia tukakuja na yetu ugenya sasa. Mm -hmm. Tukaanza kwa area yangu. Mimi sikujia kwamba this is a, is a scam eh? Okay. Eh, I took is, I just took it as a normal job mm -hmm. ya kwamba nimebahatika nimepata job na mzungu. Okay. So sikuchunguza mambo mengi. Na kwa sababu ile give direct ilikuwa imeshashika alego mm -hmm. ili convince watu. So people really came mm -hmm. to register. Mm -hmm. Sasa hapa huyu mzungu alisema kwamba registration tuweke 20 shillings. I did. Yeah, per person. Mm -hmm. Kwa sababu wale ambao walikuwa wanansaidia kuandikisha hao watu mm. lazima wangelipwa na huyu mzungu alisema kwamba yeye atoi pesa kwa mfuko yake mm. eh mm -hmm. ni one vile watu wanalipwa sasa lazima ikue a certain cost yenye watu watakuwa wanagaramika mm. pia mm. so ikakuwa 20 bob mm. yeye ilikuwa peanut pesa kidogo sana kwa watu yeah. mwaka gani hiyo that was the 2012 okay 2013 ikikaribia mm. <coughs> my friend people came people really registered. Mm -hmm. Sasa mimi ile shirika yenye nilikuwa nafanya nayo Matibabu Foundation kulikuwa na five youths wenye tulikuwa tunafanya na, nao. Mm -hmm. So nikaita wale ma youths. Mm -hmm. hey, kwa hii sasa group sasa tufanyie huyu mzungu kazi. Yeah. Walikuwa watu wanne, mm -hmm. Peter, mm -hmm. Paula, Lilian Osika, alafu mimi na huyu Hesbon huyu. Mm -hmm. So tukafanya hii kazi Tukafanya hii kazi first day to register. Sisi kumbuka the exact uh, people to register mm. lakini ile pesa nili collect hiyo siku ilikuwa almost 40 something thousand. So hii 40 something thousand na ni mbao mbao mbao. Mbao mbao umejua watu wengine hawakukuwa wananipatia 20 bob. Hey. Wengine hata wanakuja na 200. Wananiambia mimi sitaki change. Mimi andika tu jina yangu chini. Hey. Mwingine hata anakuja na punch. Anasema usi they know, mimi sitaki change. Wewe andika jina yangu. Yaani watu walikuwa wanaskramia mm. the chances. Mm. So I took that advantage. Uh -huh. So by the end of that exercise, kwenda kuhesabu pesa nilikuwa na 40 something thousand. Uh -huh. 46 kikaribia 47,000 huko. Mm. Sasa mimi eh, kwa sababu nilikuwa nimeelewana na yule mzungu kwamba watu wanalipo 1,000 per day. Mm. So mimi nikapatia watu 600 shillings per day. It was a good money by that time. Eh? <laughs> nikapatia 600 per day. Mimi nikaenda kwa yule mzungu sasa. Nikapanda nduthi. Mm. Kumbuka nikona pepa, nikona pesa nimebeba kwa bag. Mm. Safari bag. Mm. Sinimeacha asombe na laptop yake. <laughs> Wani Kesombe, appreciate. Kesombe analipua na laptop. Eh, analipua 600. Mm. Laptop pia tunahesabu kama mtu <laughs> <laughs> eh, laptop pia 600 in fact hata hiyo laptop haikufanya kazi ilikuwa tumewekwa tu hapo <laughs> eh, ya ku convince watu <laughs> sasa mm. sombe akaniuliza baadaye they know uliniita na laptop sasa kazi ya laptop ni nikamwambia hiyo kazi huyu mzungu atanipangia ni kama hizo mm. list wewe sasa utazi type mm. alafu uzieke in order mm. kasema it's okay so Kwenda kwa huyu mzungu jioni hiyo mm. nikamtolea 20k nikampatia hakujali kuniambia kwamba pesa nyingine iko wapi mm. na nikampatia zile majina yale majina yani mm. kasema it's okay tomorrow where are you going Dennis nikamwambia tomorrow we schedule tutakuwa Simur Simur is now my sub location okay umejua during all this time mimi najua kwamba this organization is going to help oh, yeah Kwa sababu wakati hata nilimobilize watu mpaka watu wangu mm. wa familia pia niliwa So the following day, tukaenda Simur. Simur kuenda huko, tuka manage kukollect 36, 30, 35,000. Mm. Nikapelekea huyu mzungu 15. Okay. Eh, nikabaki na 20. Hey. The third day, tukaenda Nzoia Market. It was on a Wednesday. Mm. Nzoia Market kuenda ni market ya ngombe. Sasa, Watu wa Lego mm. wenye waganauza ngombe wanakuja mm. na watu wa Ugenya pia watu wanatoka mpaka Samia huko wanaleta mangombe. It's mm -hmm. a big market actually. Mm -hmm. 
So hiyo siku nilipata idadi kubwa zaidi. Mm. I collected almost 70,000 on that day. Kwa sababu give direct ilikuwa inafanya lego. Mm. Watu wa lego sasa wamekuwa convinced na tayari wamekuja market wanapata hii shirika inaendelea so at the same time wameshasikia kwamba ni mzungu mm. juu kulikuwa na rumors ya kwamba nimeonekana na mzungu fula <laughs> <laughs> my brother out of 70000 nilichukua 30000 nikapelekea huyu mzungu nikabaki na 40 nikaeka alafu sasa una Thursday you are supposed to go to Yenga mm. uh, location now yeah. venue ilikuwa assistant chief's office Mm-hmm. So hiyo siku mimi nilikuwa nimelala nyumbani siranga. So kuchukua ndudhi naenda kazini. Hiyo ndio market mali nilikuwa nafanya kazi na market um, mm-hmm. huyu mzungu alikuwa mm-hmm. analala. Mm-hmm. Ndio hiyo guest house iko ile Beirut. Mm-hmm. So kufika pale si kufika huko actually nilikutana na watu kwa njia wakirudi. Mm-hmm. Wakanisimamisha Dieluer Dieluer kuna hii nickname ya Dieluer eh? mm. Mamangu alikuwa na operator hoteli. Okay. Sasa during that time kulikuwa na certain advert mm. kwa Ramogi <laughs> ya Dieluer eh? okay. kumaanisha kwamba walikuwa na advertise uh, kulikuwa na nini a certain uh, Royco. Okay. Eh, okay. Sasa hiyo Royco ilikuwa inatumika kwa kukaranga. Hey. Sasa walikuwa na advice, uh, advertise ya kwamba mm. watu wanunue hiyo Royco yeah. juu iko na ladha tamu kwa chakula. Ah, Sasa wakati mama yangu pia alikuwa ana operate ile hoteli, kuna jamaa anaitwa Uino Maiye, alikuwa anapenda kukula kwa hiyo hoteli. Sasa mm. alikuwa anatangaza kwamba umkitaka chakula mzuri, kujeni kwa DLWR. Oh, eh. okay. So I got that nickname. So watu walikuwa wananiita DLWR by mm, the way. Mm. Though it was my mother's nickname. Mm. Yule alikuwa ana operate hiyo hoteli. Mm. Sasa wakanisimamisha, wakaniuliza DLWR, kwani nini mbaya? Mm. Tumeenda kwa sisi chief office tukaambiwa turudi hiyo maneno bado inachunguzwa mm. eh sasa nikasema ah inachunguzwa namna gani sasa mimi nilikuwa na ile courage juu niko na mzungu na si mzungu analala bezi yangu eh. eh na niko na projector yake by the way nilikuwa na projector yake mm. matress yake iko pale sasa vile nilikuwa na projector yake mm. nilikuwa na ile confidence okay. ya kwamba anaenda kumpata na tunaenda kuongea mm. so mimi kufika pale nikapata kama ofisi ya assistant chief imefungwa tena. Mm. So mimi nikaenda tu na shughuli zangu. Mm. Kwenda pale nikamjaribu kumtafuta kwa simu. Nani asisanchi? Huyu mzungu sasa. Okay. Okay. Akua. Akukua. Mm. Alikuwa ametoka. Okay. Sina kwambia kuna kazi walikuwa wanafanya. Okay. Okay. Eh, na hii pia ilikuwa shughuli nyingine. Ah. Hii sasa mimi ndio nilikuwa na coordinate. Mm. Sasa huyu mzungu mimi kumpigia nikamwambia asisanchi amesimamisha ile kazi. Anasema anataka authorization letter. Mm. kuconfirm ya kwamba umepewa authority na government okay. kufanya hii shughuli. Okay. Saka so nimpia don't worry don't worry. I'll come I'll come we shall talk. Mm. Ah mimi si nikakanyagia tu. Mm. Juu niko na projector, niko na kila kitu, niko mm. na confidence. Mm. So hiyo siku huyu mzungu haku show up, mm-hmm. akurudi. Nikampigia hiyo siku jioni akushika simu yangu. Mm. The following day nikampigia akushika simu. Jioni mm-hmm. Nikampigia sasa anakata tu simu zangu. Okay. Sasa nikasema what should I do? Nikaenda nyumbani. Mm. Kwenda nyumbani uh, nikashare na uh, one of my friend. Mm. Akaniambia wewe enda uripoti hiyo kitu maybe uh, it impact on you negatively. Mm. Sasa nikasema nitaenda namna gani ku report. Wacha bado nizidi kumtafuta huyo mzungu. So nikarudi yenga. Hiyo mm. siku yenyewe pia usiku nilimcall. Hakushika simu yangu. The following day sasa nikasema mimi wacha ni jipeleke kwa kwa polisi. Mm. Nikaenda huko ala nika record statement. Ku record statement nikaambiwa sawa wewe rudi tu nyumbani mm. tutatafuta huyo mzungu tupatie namba yake. Mm. Nikachana na hiyo maneno ipo. So mimi kurudi nikachukua ile projector sasa nikasafirisha nyumbani juu ilikuwa kwa pa, ba pale mm. sasa nikachukua ile projector na mattress nikaweka kwa mattress mpya ile eh hey, nikasafirisha nyumbani mm-hmm. ile akikuja sasa ndio niende nimtolee hizo vitu zake nyumbani mm. huyu mzungu aliendanga hivyo mm-hmm. after some time 
tulisikia kwamba huyu mzungu amekufa. In fact alikuwa tu sasa ameingia kwa ulevi tu kiolela olela anakunywa mpaka busa <laughs> changa <laughs> eh, anadala unasikia oh sijui amepatikana kwa mtaro ah. eh, kuna mama fulani alikuwa amekuja naye sasa ndiye alikuwa anampatia ananipatia hizo story zake okay. so walikufa <laughs> akakuwa akasafirisha kwao okay. so hii kitu ilikuja ikalipuka na kwa sababu mimi ndio nilikuwa kwa frontline mm. watu wa area wakasema Wendo. nilijua hii maneno <laughs> So zile pesa nilikuwa nimesanya sanya wakati huo nilikuwa nataka niende college. Mm. Lakini kwa sababu mamangu alikuwa kwa hii loan ya Kenya Women. Mm. Eh, singeweza ku make. Juu vitu zangu zilikuwa zimekwama shule, nimemaliza form 4, niko na rea si almost eh, 14,000 mm. natakikana nilipe. Sasa kwa sababu nilikuwa na some savings, nilikuwa nimefanya. Mm. Ile kazi nilikuwa na imeajiriwa na anko yangu ile Beirut pia ilikuwa wakati wa Christmas pia tumelipwa tulikuwa mm. tunapewa tips pia pale nika manage kulipa ile school fees through that money nilikuwa napata pale lakini hizi mm. zenye nilikuwa nimesanya za mzungu uh, nilikuwa nimesanya almost uh, 113000 mm. nakumbuka so nilikuwa nataka niende college so mimi nikachukua hiyo opportunity niende niulizie kibabi Mm. University mm. iko Bungoma. Mm. Eh, so nikaenda mpaka Bungoma nikaulizia. Mm. Zile ko, ile course naweza nikafanya kwa kupatia certificate yangu. Uh, wakaniambia nitaku nita, wewe rudi tu tutaku call mm. tukwambie ile course unaweza ukafanya. Yo. So mimi <coughs> wakati huo hiyo maneno ilikuwa imeshika nyumbani sana. Watu mm. wananiita conman, conman. Yule kijana mdogo huyo, kijana wa Dilwera ametu con pesa. Eh? Sasa kwa ile aibu sasa mm. nilitoroka mtaa. Okay. Nikaenda nikarentisha mahali kwingine. Bungoma sasa. Mm. Sasa Bungoma wakati huo betting ilikuwa imeanza lakini haikuwa imeshika. So mm. kulikuwa na certain site inaitwa Elite Bet. Mm. Best yangu anaitwa Samuel Kazola. Tulikuwa tunaona na yeye mpira sana. Alikuwa fan wa Arsenal. Mm-hmm. So alikuwa anapenda mchezaji wa Arsenal anaitwa Kazola. Mm-hmm. Yeye ndiye alinitroduce kwa bet. So hii 100,000 ilikuwa nayo. Huyu jamaa aliniconvince ya kwamba bro, kuna game fulani hapa ya pesa inaitwa betting. Ukiekea team ya Arsenal for example, inacheza na Crystal Palace, mm-hmm. uweke 1,000, eh? Unapata pesa fulani. So nikajaribu nikamuuliza nika mtu anaweza bet na pesa maximum pesa ngapi akaniambia pesa yoyote unaweza hakujua mm. ni kuna do by the way so nikamwambia nika 50000 inaweza akaniambia 50000 inaweza lakini hiyo ni pesa mingi sana usieke mm. nikamwambia mimi Arsenal ni timu yangu eh wakati mm-hmm. Ashavin Ashavin alikuwa Arsenal <laughs> eh situweke tu hiyo 50000 akaniambia akaniuliza uko na pesa nikamwambia niko na pesa nikaekelea 50000 Possible wewe nikakuja 87000 ilikuwa 87000 ilikuwa odd ya 1.6 mm. 6 Possible wewe nikakuja 87000 Sasa si tunangojea <laughs> Tumebeta asubuhi <laughs> Game inaanza Game inaanza saa kumi. Kumi na moja hapo <laughs> By that time <laughs> nilikuwa nimeenda kuwatch hii game kwa certain uh, club <laughs> eh? so game imeanza arsenal ikaeka bao mm. ya kwanza mm. crystal palace ikakuja ika equalize eh. eh, zaha ndiye aliwafungia hiyo bao nakumbuka eh. lakini wakati huo alexis sanchez alikuwa kwa form kabisa so game imekuwa moto bwana crystal palace inavamia arsenal yani sipumui <laughs> na dakika ni ya 70th minute mimi nikasema hii game sitaki kuwatch ni unaona pesa zangu zinaenda kuzama my first time kubeti ilikuwa na 50k huyu jamaa pia kaniambia deno tutoke tusiwatch hii game tukaanza kutembea sasa hiyo area kandui my friend kufika dakika ya 80th nikachukua simu yangu sasa na naangalia kwa live school kuangalia hivi bado ni 11 ai 
nikasema liwe liwalo mtoto pia anazaliwa na anaku, anakufa na hii pesa pia ni ilikuwa pesa ya wizi maybe haikukua like yangu mm. dakika kidogo nasikia nduru sasa mayowe eh kitu kaniambia ni kama Arsenal limefungwa juao ni mafans wa Man na celebrate <laughs> Sasa nikarudi si kuangalia live score <laughs> juu itanipatia pressure bure. <laughs> Kurudi uchenga kanembea wewe usiingie. Yeye ndiye akaingia. Kwa ile club tulikuwa tunaoche. Akarudi akasema mama 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 deno aseno nimepata bao. Akasema bas. Eight yet sasa umejua 90th minute mm. nakaribia. Mm. Ah hiyo game ilisha hivyo tu one. Tukapata 87000 nikachukua 7000 yenye iko juu nikapatia huyu Kazola. Mm si nikabaki na 30000 clean money hiyo sasa ni do yangu yeah. by that time akuku wana tax nikatoa hii do 30000 sasa nikaenda nikanunua vitu kwa nyumba sasa nikanunua bed juu nilikuwa nimenunua tu mattress nilikuwa nalala chini mm. alafu kwa hiyo compound kulikuwa na campus ladies walikuwa wanasoma kibabi mm. sasa umejua pale walikuwa wanaishi kwa nyumba moja wasichana wanne. Mm. Mimi sasa ndiyo jirani wao. Mm. Pesa iko. Si huyu jamaa ameshanifundisha betting yeah. na nimesha win tayari. Yeah. Sasa ikakuwa habit yangu sasa kubet na pesa kubwa kubwa si pesa kidogo. Sasa kitu tena ikandanganya Chelsea inacheza na West Ham ekelea 20,000. Hiyo game Chelsea ilitoka draw. Ile 20,000 ika ikakunywa maji. Ika, ika kunywa maji. Nimebaki na 10. Juni nilitumia ile pesa nimewin mm. from betting. Mm. E ten pia ni kabet. Uh, ilikuwa timu inaitwa Zenit St Petersburg. Mm. Ili win nikapata profit ya almost 5000. Mm. So kwa sababu nilikuwa nimekuwa introduce kwa hii betting pia nilikuwa ni, naifanya kama kazi. Mm. So ika pick ika pick wakati sasa na bet saa zingine na win saa zingine na lose. Sasa nikaona hii kitu mm-hmm. si reliable mm-hmm. sasa nikasema nitafanya namna gani sasa hizo nimeshaanza kutongoza msichana wa campus pale anaitwa Esther Nabewes mm-hmm. mama yake ni mganda babake ni mkenya okay. lakini ali, ali nini alizoea sana kwenda huko mm-hmm. ushago wa mama yake huko Uganda mm-hmm. sasa alikuwa anaongea kiganda yeah. eh, pakubwa sana na kizungu lakini ile broken english <laughs> sasa huyu dem nilianza kumtongoza nikamtongoza sasa ikafika wakati sasa huyu dem hakukuwa na lala na wale wasichana wenzake mm. alikuwa na lala kwako kwa hii nyumba yangu sasa wakati huo uh, mahitaji ya pesa ikaongezeka ju lazima nigefurahisha huyu dem mm. sasa tulikuwa tunaenda ma out na yeye parties za ma students wenzake ah kungara ndio hiyo juu sasa pesa iko mm, eh? mm. betting inaleta so ikafika wakati naona hii pesa inapungua ikarudi mpaka 50000 nikapiga break hapo nikasema sasa hii nimesota eh sitaki tena kuendelea na mambo na gambling mm. nikakumbuka Mbona niendelee na hii historia ya kusoma? Si huyu mzungu alishanifundisha hii njia. Na kama nilewin kupitia hii njia, mbona nisifuate pesa? Mm. Sasa mimi <coughs> nikaenda kwa cyber. Mm. Nika Google conning tricks, eh? Nikaletewa, nikaletewa kaletewa zingine lakini zile conning tricks nilikuwa naona pale zilikuwa zinahitaji pesa mingi na lazima ungekuwa established by that time sasa mimi nikasema ah na ku research kokono watu acha nianze na hii yenye najua tayari acha tu nianze na ya huyu mzungu na in case kutakuwa na challenge nitakuwa na badilisha strategies so nikaenda nika print shati na t-shirts tatu 
nikaenda nikafanya branding ya paperwork nikatengeneza barua nikatengeneza stamp ya kwamba nafanya na Save Life International mm -hmm. naandika barua na sign peke yangu mimi ndio CEO mimi ndio ndio kila kitu mm -hmm. mimi ndio director alafu singeweza kufanya kazi peke yangu mm. lazima ukue na team mm. sasa nikasema lazima nitafute mtu wa mkono sasa kwa sababu pale Kandui kulikuwa na students mm. wa campus mm. nikasema sasa anataka kuchukua na sitaki huyu dem ajue ile kitu nafanya so by that time sikuchukua dem wangu mm. nikaenda nika eka poster ya kwamba job job uh, nataka clerk mm. uh, yoyote ambaye anajua kuandika you have yani lazima ukue na good handwriting yeah. yenye nasomeka so nikapokea some calls like uh, five people mm. lakini nilikuwa nataka ladies eh kwa sababu wasichana umejua ukitumia wasichana kwa deal zako ku convince watu inakuanga rais okay juu kwa suspect ya kwamba ni criminal inakuanga ngumu sana mm. So nikapata four ladies and one one gentleman. One gentleman. Okay. Pamoja na mimi tulikuwa watu sita. Mm -hmm. Sasa nikwapatia hizi t-shirt. Amevaa, mimi niko na shati sasa. Mm -hmm. So tukaenda soko nyingine inaitwa Chwele Market. Mm -hmm. Chwele Market kuenda tukaingia kwa management ya soko. Tukajitambulisha kwamba sisi ni so and so na tuna deal na certain organization inaitwa Save Life International. Kumbuka sasa hizo tuna masquerade kutumia jina ya hii organization ah. and we are just uh, fraudsters. Uh -huh. So watu wakakuwa convinced bwana huyu chairman wa soko. Mimi nikampatia tuke ya tusaidie kufanya mobilization. Take take huyu jamaa akachukua kipenga ameshapigia watu wa soko watu wame watu wamekuja. It was a market day. Watu wametoka mpaka kuna soko nyingine inaitwa Cheptais huko mm. juu. Mm. Wakati anemka Mount Elgon wamekuja. Yaani watu walijaa. Tukajitambulisha. Sasa hizo nilikuwa nimeshanunua hii inaitwa megaphone. Mm. Hii ya kuongelesha watu. <laughs> Sasa hii kitu ilikuwa inakaa unique. Hey. Eh, kuna watu wengine hata wajaiona. <laughs> <laughs> eh, niko na kamera mm. ile ya kushika watu ile kadogo. Mm. Sasa tuka register watu. By that time niliweka registration fee ikwe 100. Mm -hmm. Juu niliconsider lazima nilipe hao watu na mimi hii kitu pia lazima inilipe. Okay. Eh. So hii siku nilicollect almost 36,000 shillings within a short time. Cash. Na mimi kwa sababu nilikuwa suspicious kwamba hao watu wanaweza waka ni suspect. Mm. Vile nilicollect ile pesa ikafika 36,000 mimi nilitoka kwa scene nikachomoka mm. juu wengine walikuwa wananicall walikuwa wanani disturb na simu na siwezi shika simu kwa soko yeah. wangesikia yale makelele mm. so nikaenda nikakaa kwa certain hotel na kunywa chai wale wasichana nimewaacha kwa ground bado wanaendelea na kufanya collection ya kuregister mm. so by that time nilikuwa na simu kama tatu yao madem niliwapatia namba yenye wana call wa kikol naona huyu ni colleague mm. alafu au watu wengine nilikuwa nimeandika namba kwa flyers eh, mm. pale in mm. case of anything mm. unaweza ukakall pale pia kulikuwa na certain number ya okay. so clients wa kikol najua tu ni client huyu ni client mm. colleague wa kikol najua ni huyu koli colleague mm. mm. juu zilikuwa uh, lines different so the activity went successful wakatoka mm kutoka nikwambia niko kwa hoteli fulani wakakuja nikanunua nyama hapo tukakula nikowapatia kila mtu nilipatia 1000 1000 it was a good money by the way mm. walifurahia sana mm. ah tukachukua taxi tukarudi kandui mm. so the following day tulipanga tena kazi tukaenda certain market inaitwa bukembe bukembe is on way to webuye mm. 50 bob from kandui okay. so tukaenda bukembe na the same same strategy tukafanya tuka manage kupata 24000 sasa hii uh, tulipata hiyo idadi kidogo kwa sababu haiko kwa market day mm. ah mimi niliona hiyo pesa ni mzuri nikalipa tu watu 1000 1000 tena 
wakarudi yeah. the following day tena tukaenda webuye webuye tukafanya tuka manage kupata ilikuwa almost 28000 hapo mm. nikawalipa hao wenzangu hao watu wa mkono nilikuwa nahakikisha nimewalipa vizuri ili wasiniache <laughs> eh. na kwa sababu hii ilikuwa NGO mm. lazima ulipe kama wa NGO yeah. Tukaenda hivyo tumpaka Lugulu. So the more tulikuwa tunaenda mbali, the more tulikuwa tuna move away from Kandui okay. au Bungoma town. Okay. Now walikuwa students. Mm. So ikafika wakati kitu imekuwa tamu. To these students paka wengine wanataka ku defer their courses. Nikamwambia hapana. Nyinyi muendelee tu na masomo yenu. Yeah. T-shirts ndio wakanipatia. Lakini contact zangu walibaki nazo. Mm. So that in case wame enda likizo watakuwa wananitafuta. Okay. Sasa mimi tena nikaenda Eldoret. <laughs> Kumbuka niko na nyumba Kandui mm. yenye yule dem anaishi. Anaishi sasa kama security wangu wako pale. <laughs> Nimeshanunua kila kitu yangu pale. Hizo vitu pia sitaki kuhamisha. Mm. Mm. Sasa nikaenda Eldoret nikafanya Eldoret langa suko na nikaona ya kwamba hii kitu inalipa. Uh-huh. Sasa nikachukua hii kitu kama kazi. Uh-huh. So ikafika wakati nimeenda So una bado uh, all this time una move tu na ile jina tu moja uli create bado life international. Uja... Sija change. Okay. So ilifika wakati mm. nimefika at a certain village mm. nikapata kuna wase waliai skamishwa na certain organization. So huyu mzee akaniambia kuna certain organization ilikuja huku ikatudanganya mm. watu wakarejista uh, lakini watu walikuwa wanatoa 1500 mm. ikaenda hivyo Sasa huyu mzungu akasema itakuwa ngumu kukuamini mm. kukuami. huyu huyu oh, mzee akaniambia kwamba itakuwa mm. ngumu sana mm. kuamini mm. juu hizi mashirika za kusaidia watu huwa wanasaidia watu free bila kutoa registration okay. So hiki kitu ilinichanua nikaenda back tena. Mm. Kwenda back nika strategize. Nitafanya namna gani? Sasa wakati huu nilikuwa nimesha recruit another team eh? mm. Na nilikuwa nimewafanyia induction kulingana na kufanyia Save Life International. Mm. Zile terms and conditions za Save Life International. Mm. Sasa ku strategize tena ingebidi ilibidi tubadilishe terms and conditions. Okay. Sasa tena Nilirishafo lile team yangu mm. nikawastopisha kazi nikaenda tena nika recruit another team mm-hmm. sasa another strategy sasa ilikuwa ya microfinance mm-hmm. nili shift to microfinance sasa mm-hmm. nikaenda tena cyber nika google microfinances online microfinances in Kenya mm. so ku google online microfinances nika come across zidisha microfinance mm. tala branch lakini hizo mm. zilikuwa zimejulikana sana mm. kama tala na branch mm. zilikuwa zinapatiana watu loan kwa simu mm-hmm. so siku zitumia mm. juu ningepata watu kwa ground mm. wenye wako conversant nazo mm. niliamua kuchusa zidisha sasa nikaenda nika google mm terms and conditions za zidisha nilikuwa nime settle on zidisha mm. kwa sababu jina ya zidisha ni ya Kiswahili word eh? uh. ku meaning kuongeza yeah. alafu their offices zilikuwa in Rwanda okay. eh, CEO wao alikuwa Mrwandi anaitwa Julia Kunia mm-hmm. sasa nikasema hii ndio nataka kutumia ndio mm. iko Kenya mm. nikaenda nika print mm. the terms and conditions mm. nikatengeneza flyers mm. loan application forms Uh, staff card actually staff card nilitengeneza <laughs> na niko na sample ya staff card ndio hii <laughs> hii sasa <laughs> tu kama hiyo nilitengeneza staff card eh <laughs> nikaenda <laughs> nika brand <laughs> mpaka hii nectar gi okay. zidisha microfinance <laughs> this, one, this one is not branded yeah. lakini zile nilikuwa natumia mm. pale kitambo pale kitambo zilikuwa branded mm. uh, chati nikatengeneza ile mzuri kabisa yeah. zidisha microfinance mm. nikazitengeneza kama five pieces mm-hmm. mm-hmm. nikatengeneza stamp sasa 
nika recruit tena watu mm. wakati huu sasa ilipata kama shule imefungwa yeah. eh, i managed to get one teacher alikuwa anafundisha kwa private school <laughs> sasa umejua ni mtu wako conversant eh? na hii maneno sasa <laughs> eh, ya kuongeleshana yani yeah. juu nilikuwa nataka mtu wako vocal kabisa anaweza kaongea choki mm. eh, hiyo ndio maana huyu teacher alinifurahisha mm. so tukaanza kufanya kazi na yeye mm-hmm. Na kwa sababu alikuwa kwa holiday na, na bado ulikuwa na market tu venye tu ulikuwa na stick vitu kwa kwa, kwa, kwa Si kutu. sasa bado natembea kwa masoko sasa. Ah, eh. Okay. Sasa masoko siku kuwa na target market days. Mm-hmm. Juu market market days unapata neighboring market zina kusanyika okay. at a certain place. Okay. So kama uli gonga watu at a certain market mm-hmm. automatically okay. wange kugundua waki mm-hmm. kupata kwa hii soko tena. Mm. So siku kwa nafanya una market day. Mm-hmm. So nikiingia kwa soko naingia kwa chairman ya soko, ananifanyia mobilization, nampatia kitu kidogo, na ukishapata ukishapatia mtu kitu kidogo mm-hmm. automatically mm-hmm. lazima shughuli yako iende successful. Yeah. My friend nimetembea kwa masoko hii Kenya. Eh? Nikiwa nafanya na hiyo zidisha microfinance. Mm. Lakini at that time bado nilikuwa nasanya pesa. Registration niliweka 300 sasa. Mm-hmm. Nasanya cash. So in a day I could register people like uh, 50 na kila mtu ana partner 300 300 300 hiyo ni 15000 yeah. day ilikuwa good money kwa sababu yule jamaa nilikuwa nampatia 1500 at the same time ile nyumba yenye tunalala kwa sababu sasa tulikuwa tuna move mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. tulikuwa tunalala kwa guest houses mm-hmm. sasa tulikuwa tumechukua nyumba moja tunalala hapo ni yeye mimi na yeye mm-hmm. sasa mimi naongelesha watu mimi ndio marketer mm. lakini yeye ananisaidia kujazia watu forms okay. so ikafika wakati sasa watu wana call juu zile flyers tumepatiana iko na namba zetu mm. watu wana call at the same time mimi niko kwa harakati ya kufundishana i can't receive the calls at the same time i'm teaching these people mm. concerning the learning services mm. so ikabidi ni recruit tena mtu lakini kwa sababu yule mwalimu alikuwa conversant na ile kitu nafanya sasa mm. endi akashikilia imambo na ku convince watu mm. na nikatafuta sasa msichana mwenye alikuwa anasaidia kujazia watu loan forms. Okay. Sasa mimi nilikuwa tunaenda kwa sin ama kwa market kama hii shughuli haijaanza. Mm. Lakini the moment hii shughuli ya ku register inaanza mimi nilikuwa naenda na kaka kwa hoteli mimi sasa kazi yangu ni kushika simu. <laughs> Unanipata? Mm. So I did that ikafika wakati sasa Watu wakaanza kukuwa suspicious. Mbona watu mbona sisi hatuna pay bill number ama till number? Okay. Mama mwingine alituuliza, "Mbona nyinyi mnachukua tu pesa cash? Umejua siku hizi conmen ni wengi sana." Hey. Sasa nikasema, "Haya hata mama, hata kama conmen ni wengi sisi hii pesa eh uh, con, hii inasimamia vitu zingine kama uh, loan application forms mm. uh, na passport. Si tunawapiga picha hapa. Passport mm. ni 200 na loan application form ukienda kuchukua i, ku download hii form kwa cyber mm. ni 100 bob. Mm. Sasa hata kuna profit tuna make. Mm. Uyu mama akakuwa convince. Mama mboga sasa. Mm. Ah, nikaona yule mama alikuwa na point. Tufanye namna gani? Nikaenda ku inquire vile naweza nikapata sasa pay bill number. Mm. By that time nilikuwa Kisumu. Mm-hmm. Nikaenda kwa ofisi za watu wa Safaricom, nikaulizia the procedure ya kupata pay bill number. Nikaambiwa kwamba lazima ukue na compliance certificate, mm. lazima company kwe registered na permit ya kazi. Mm-hmm. Kumbuka na masquerade kama ile organization ya zidisha, zidisha. microfinance. Yeah. Sasa nikasema hizi vitu mimi siwezi pata. Mm. Kenye nitafanya Uh, nitatumia pesa kupata pesa. <laughs> eh, Hao watu wa Safaricom ndio nataka kutumia mwenye ana generate till number na mimi niwapatie pesa. Mm. So nikaenda kwa yule ambaye ana deal na mambo na till. Nikamuita bro, nataka nikuongeleshe lakini nataka tuongee ka kando. kando. Akatoka kwa desk. Kamwambia bro mimi naye niko na certain thing nafanya napatiana hizi mikopo ndogo ndogo. Lakini watu wananisumbua sana. Sitaki watu wanilipe pesa cash na sina permit hii compliance certificate mimi siwezi pata mm. juu ni biashara ndogo ndio nimeanza kaniambia okay mimi nitakusaidia 
lakini unaweza ukani ukaniangalia vizuri mm. kamaambia sina shida <laughs> kaniambia basi nitakusaidia mm. kama tu beshi yangu jiweni rika yangu na wewe pia unatafuta mm. wewe enda tu utafute tu permit bora tu permit ya biashara alafu ulete tutafanya editing na kila kitu mm. so nika, nikaenda nyumbani nika sem, nikaenda kwa county offices nikasema nataka kufungua biashara ya wine and spirit mm. nikaandikiwa license nikaleta ile copy nikapatia huyu jamaa huyu jamaa akaenda akafanya editing hapo akaandika zidisha mm-hmm. pesa nikamwambia usiandike zidisha uh, microfinance andika zidisha pesa mashinani mm. ndio itakuwa inatoka kwa tail mm. nataka itoke hivyo <laughs> Ju mtu akiona zidisha pesa mashinani atakuwa convinced ya kwamba hii ni pesa mashina. <laughs> <laughs> My brother nilipatia huyu jamaa 20k akanitengenezea till. Ikatoka zidisha pesa mashinani hiyo ndio jina ilikuwa inatoka. <laughs> Kujaribu kutoa kunini pesa ikatoka. Sasa huyu jamaa niambia bro unataka hii pesa itoke kwa namba yako ama i, kabla nitengenezee till aninuliza. Unataka itoke kwa namba yako namba gani tutakuwa tunatumia kama uh, mm. recipient umejua mm. kwa till number kuna ile kitu inaitwa nominated number yes. ile namba inapokea pesa kwanza mm. ikwe namba gani hapo mm. nikasema isikwe namba yangu juu in case ikwe namba yangu na hii shughuli nafanya ni criminal mm. kuna wakati maybe uh, hii kitu inaweza backfire ni fuatu ina CID mm. Nika mwambia huyu jamaa isitoe jina yangu. Mm. Akanipa basi enda ulete line. Sasa nikaenda kwa wale colleagues wangu. Mm. Kuna demo anaitwa Sara. By that time nilikuwa namkatia. Mm. Nikamwambia Sara nisaidie na ID yako. Kuna kitu naenda ku process hapa town. Uh, nataka nikupatie promotion ya kazi. Mm. Wendi utakuwa unashika simu lakini sasa lazima urejista line sasa twende na wewe register register line mm. tukaenda na yeye mpaka kwa hizi ofisi za safaricom aka register line ku register line nikachukua ile line yake sasa nikapatiana so kumbe ile line yake ndio ilikuwa inatumika kama nominated number lakini hakujua mm. so nikapatiana hizi details za hii line sasa pesa ikiingia inaingia kwa hii line ndio sasa anatoa kwa hii line na sukuma kwa Koko. ili sasa nikifuatwa na CID Uh, naweza nikafanya uh, naweza nikapata ile excuse ya kwamba mimi sikukuwa direct beneficiary mm. Uh, mm. mwenye ali receive pesa ni sara sara mm. ndio sasa atafutwe eh. unanipata mm. sara kujua kwamba hiyo ndio target yangu mm. so i manage to generate this till number sasa nikaenda mali inaitwa uh, homa bay mm. na till number sasa My friend watu walikuwa convinced kuona tu hiyo jina zidisha pesa mashinani. <laughs> watu walikuwa convinced, watu walikuwa wanatuma pesa. Hii ni ukweli kabisa, hii ni ukweli. Hakuna kampuni inaweza ika con watu na pay bill number. Hiyo mm. ni ngumu sana. Mm. Alafu tail number pia ni free, hakuna transaction cost. Yeah. People walikuwa na register hii. By that time nilikuwa napata hiyo do na nyumba zetu za ushago umejua sisi tulikuwa tuna ziboma tu. Mm. Eh. Sasa nilikuwa natumia hizo do natumia watu wa nyumbani kuplaster. Watu wa nyumbani pia sikuambia kwamba nafanya kazi gani. Mm-hmm. Niliwaambia nimefanya nimepata kazi lakini kazi ni genuine. Mm. Na kwa sababu madangu alikuwa kwa Kenya Women nilikuwa namsaidia kulipa ile loan ya Kenya Women alichukua 200,000 na sasa alikuwa na ile hali ngumu ya kulipa ile loan. Sasa mm. nilikuwa namsukumia 20 22,000 every month. Mm. Sasa mimi nafanya kazi nikirudi narudi home for some time tena naenda eh na ngara vizuri yani ni nimevaa yani nimenunua manguo expe expe maviatu ndio hizo eh so nikafanya hii kazi nikafanya hii kazi nikaenda kakamega bado nilikuwa na tackle party ya Nyanza and Western juu nilikuwa nataka hii maneno ikisaculate mm. ni kwe nimemalizana na one point mm. tena ni kama naenda county nyingine okay. my friend i worked in kakamega all the market in kakamega pesa yangu ika rise to roughly 400000 savings eh? sasa nikasema hii sasa 
nataka nitafute means of transport kwa sababu magari alikuwa anatuchelewesha mm -hmm. tukienda kazi <laughs> yule kazola kaniambia alikuwa anga driver kaniambia deno uh, sasa kazola ni yule mwalimu hapana uh, yule beshi yangu alinitroduce kwa betting ah, okay. eh, nilimpigia simu kwa sababu yeye ni driver mm. nikamuulizia kama anaweza akanisaidia kupata gari second hand mm. akaniambia magari yako Uganda second hand nikamwambia ni at how much kaniambia ukiwa na 200000 utapata gari mzuri sana mm. eh kamwambia type gani hiyo kuna Toyota Corolla kuna nini eh hii type nyingine inaitwa premium mm. sasa nikasettle on premium nikamuuliza premium ni pesa ngapi akaniambia hiyo lazima upate na kitu 350 mm. Sasa nika make an attempt nikaenda uh, Kampala. Mm -hmm. Kwenda Kampala I happened to meet a friend of mine. Huyu jamaa tulikuwa tunasoma nae mm -hmm. Ambira High School. Mm -hmm. Kwa street tu za Kampala. Umejua yeah. nimeenda kununua gari? Eh. Yeah, yeah. Niko na do cash Kenyan money. Mm -hmm. Nimeshatoa niko nazo cash lakini sasa nimeweka kwa mifuko za nilikuwa nimenunua blazer sasa mm. nimezieka kwa mifuko ndani sasa mtu ange notice yeah na tuko na huyu Kazola kama man wangu sasa huyu beshi yangu kumkuta kwa street aka insist niende kumtembelea kwake okay. kwake si mimi nikaambia Kazola ya kwamba naenda kutembelea beshi yangu nikamlipia nyumba siku tatu juu sasa nilikuwa tulikuwa na pesa mm -hmm. eh? <laughs> Si tuko na pesa? Yeah. Bet pia tulieka bado ina run. Eh? Yeah, bado bet bado ina Bet ina run. Tumebaki na games kama tatu. Yeah. Eh. By that time Champions League ilikuwa inaendelea. Sasa yeah. nimebaki na Real Madrid na Inter, Inter Milan. Mm -hmm. Na pesa nilikuwa nafaa ni poke ilikuwa almost 150,000. Nilibet na 20k. Yeah. My friend tuko Kampala. Tuko kwa gari sasa. Tunaenda na huyu jamaa mm. kumbe huyu besti yangu alikuwa anga mwizi gunman huko na mimi sikujua so kufika na huyu jamaa kwa nyumba mm. kumbe alikuwa anafuatwa ah, ah. eh maskari wa huko walikuwa wameshamfanyia profiling sasa ni most wanted anatafutwa bro kufika kwa nyumba tukaingia kuingia Daka kidogo majamaa wake wakaanza kuingia. Mm. Mabeshti wake sasa. Mabeshti wake. Mm. Madem wa rembo. Eh. <laughs> sasa nikaanza kucheki yao madem matatu. Very brown, eh? Ajine <laughs> machocolate. Eh. Sasa wanakuja. Huyu jamaa alikuwa ina cozy room bwana, mm. eh? Alikuwa anaishi maisha mzuri sana. Mm. Sasa mimi pia nimejikladi. Ah, nikaanza kuongea na hao wasiana. Akaniambia deno, feel free bwana. Unaweza ongea na huyo dem anaitwa Karo. Karo, this is my friend, a schoolmate. Mm. I can introduce. Mm. Sasa si mimi nikaanza kuongea na huyo. Nakumbuka ni Ugandan za. Eh? Hey. Sasa Kiswahili ni shida, sasa ni English ndio wanaongea hmm. na ki, Kiganda. Kibagani. Sasa tulikuwa tunaongea tu kizungu kizungu, mm. though kizungu yao ilikuwa broken. Kumbe awa ni madem huyo jamaa anatumia kwa deal zake. After that sasa machaliwa kaanza kuingia. Sasa kuingia jamaa fulani akaingia hapo weida kabisa. Yaani kifua yake ilikuwa inatoshana hivi. <laughs> na dreadi. Mm. Nyuma yake mwingine akaingia. Walikuja na gari by the way. Mm. Na wako na bags ndogo ndogo. So wakaingia. Wakaka. Wakanigotea. So mimi huyo jamaa alikuwa anaitwa Paul mm. tukiwa na yeye high school. Mm. Na kuna nickname tulikuwa tumempatia papa. Mm. Juu alikuwa anapenda kutuombea mm. wakati tumeingia Dare endi alikuwa anatuombea. <laughs> Ndio pasta. Yes. Mm. So mimi nilikuwa namuita na jina yake direct papa. Ah. Kumbe huyu jamaa ile level yake ilikuwa level ya juice mm. kabisa. Umejua? Mm. Uh, hata uwezi pia kuna kuanga na hizi marangs. Mm. Eh. So kumuita tu jina yake direct hivyo. Ni kama tabu fulani hapo okay. eh hapo umekosea kosa kubwa sana mm. juu anajiita na majina fulani mm. mafande vitu kama hizo eh makara, ma, 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 ma tag pia wana uh, wako na hizo majina okay. eh tag pia ni afande kivyake <laughs> eh. so hao watu walikuwa wanashangaa kusikia mimi naita Paul na jina yake hivyo mm. 
Lakini hao mabeshi wake pia walikuwa wanashuku mm. mimi ni accomplice mm. mwenzake. Mm. Though mimi nilikuwa tu beshte. Mm. So after this nikaanza kuona ma characters. Siju kuna jamaa tena aliingia hapo alikuwa na dent. <laughs> alikuwa amekatwa hapa ilikuwa tu nini yapanga. Mm. Sasa hiyo uso wake ilikuwa inatisha. Hata siku anataka kuangalia direct. <laughs> eh? Ju ilikuwa inanishtua. <laughs> eh, ni kama ile nini ya boloeng ile. Yeah. <laughs> ah. Sasa nikaanza kushuku mm. au ma characters niko nao hapa kuna kitu mba kuna kitu mbaya. Kuna kitu mbaya. Mm. My friend hii siku siku rudi juu tulienda kwa party tukakesha kwa hiyo party mm. tukarudi the following morning mm. kurudi kumbe huyu jamaa anatresiwa na makarao makarao alishakuja kwa basement zake mm. akakosekana jua kukua mm. na umejua pale uh, yeye ndiye alikuwa anaishi kwa nyumba ya chini ah. eh, ground floor mm-hmm ilikuwa <coughs> kubwa. Mm. So kumbe watchman wa gate au majamaa au makarao vile walikuja waliulizia tu mm. uh, kuna jamaa tunamtafuta hapa ni best yetu tuko na picha yake ndio hii. Unamjua? Huyu watchman akasema huyu jamaa alitoka alitoka ameenda ka ameenda kazi. Juu sasa huyu jamaa alikuwa anatembea na maweida sasa huyu watchman alijua kwamba huyu jamaa ni bouncer wa club. Yeye pia kona mwili, akona kitambi. Mm. My friend tumerudi asubuhi. Tumesha dropiwa na hii gari Prado yao ya mm. kazi. Mm. Tuko kwa nyumba. Sasa si mimi nikapeleka kwa nyumba kwa room yangu ya guest. Mm. Na lala. Sasa ndaka kidogo. Nashtukia. Uh, mlango imebishwa na mlango kubishwa ile ya fujo pap 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 open mimi nikafungua kufungua kitu niliona ya kwanza ni bunduki bunduki ah na nini sasa mjua nilikuwa nimelala nilikuwa na vest na short au mm. majamo akania mbiushwa kani shika vest nika ekwa huko sitting room akani sukuma eh. but that time huyo papa alikuwa na madem wawili mm. uh, na mimi kwa hiyo room so au maskari wenye walikuwa ndani walikuwa kama sita Ugandan police officers mm. sisi tuko nne so akaanza kufanya search kwa hii nyumba kufanya search kumbe ile base yenye nilipelekwa kulala hapo chini kuna drawer hapo mm. kuna mabunduki bro kama nne pistol eh hizi vitu zikachukuliwa zikamwagwa chini wakazichukua huyu askari akavaa gloves akaziweka hapo chini alafu tukaekwa pingo we sasa tunapelekwa Kampala Central Police Station Kupelekwa huko nikajitambulisha sasa umejua sasa unaandikisha statement mm. wewe ni nani mm. Mimi nikasema mimi nilikuja huku Uganda ama Kenya nilikuja kufika street nilikuja kununua gari na nikakutana na this person this is an was my school high school friend mm. akaniambia niende kwake kwenda kwake ndio sasa mkakuja mkatupata tukiwa na yeye. Mm. Mimi nilitoka Kenya juzi. Wakatuambia how can we prove that? Mm-hmm. Uzuri ile kitu ilinisaidia kuingia Uganda mm. si kupitia bichochoro vichochoro. Niliingia through custom. Ah. Eh, nikachukua ile permit ya kwamba naenda on a business mission. Okay. Unanipata? Mm. So hiyo ni nili nisaidia sana. Mm. Eh. Mm-hmm. So nikaonyeshana hiyo mm. nikaachiliwa aya eh kibati tu nikaachiliwa my friend nilipiga ile besti yangu yule kazola mm. kwa sababu zile three days sikutoka immediately nililala nililala cells mm. nikatolewa the following day so now the third day sasa nikapigia mm. 
mm. Kazola. Ile siku nilikuwa natolewa ndio ile siku ile pesa yangu ya room nililipia Kazola ilikuwa imeexpire. Uh, Unanipata? Mm. So nikampigia tukakutana nikamwelezea hiyo issue akaniambia bro kama hiyo ndio kitu imefanyika sasa hata gari atununue hapa. <laughs> Tuende tutafute mali kwingine hata tutaulizia huko mbele. Mm-hmm. So we went tulichukua gari tukalipa uh, by that time from Kampala to Busia ilikuwa 500 shillings mm. tukalipia tukarudi mpaka Busia mm. Busia Uganda now kumbe magari kuna zingine magari zingine pia zilikuwa tu hapo kwa yard uh, so nikaul in Busia sasa in Busia sasa mm. nikapata nikafaulu kupata gari nikanunua mm-hmm. nikarudi how, Kunu... how, how is the police stations in in Uganda Okay, sawa tuna kama hizi za Kenya. Hakuna difference. Hakuna difference. Hakuna mm. difference UOB ni the same two. Mm. Wanatumia tu the same same criteria. Okay. Hakuna eh, okay. tofauti. Mm. Eh, maybe prisons ndio naweza sema maybe kuna tofauti kidogo. Kuna tofauti kwa nisha ipelekwa prison. Hapana, oh. si huko, si huko. Yaani na shuku maybe kuna naweza kuwa na some differences. Okay. So wewe umeshikwa nikaachiliwa nikaachiliwa sasa nimerudi juu ile permit permit ilinisaidia mm. sasa nikanunua gari kununua gari nikanunua gari pale nikaambiwa lazima niende kwa ofisi ya watu wa customs mm. nifanyiwe clearance mm. kuna fee nililipia hapo kumbe mwenye ananifanyia clearance pia ako na group nyingine tena ya kukuja kuharas ukishapita sasa boda tena ah wanakuja wana masquerade kama polisi mm. wanakuja wana kutreaten ya kwamba umenunua gari eh, kwa njia mbaya eh, wana masquerade kama polisi mm. so mimi vile nilishaingia upande ya Kenya sasa sinaenda kuangalia mambo na insurance hey. nimeshatoka kwa ofisi ya insurance mm. nimeacha gari kwa parking tuko na Kazola kuingia tu hivi kwa gari dakika kidogo majamu watatu bro <laughs> ati Ebu msimame kidogo. Mm-hmm. Nyinyi ni nani? Mm-hmm. Kajitambulisha. Mimi ni fulani fulani. Sasa umejua nimekuwa worried tena. Juu tena naona tu kushikwa tu. Na shikwa tena. <laughs> na tayari nimesha spend mm-hmm. 250,000 eh? Nimebaki na almost 130,000 shillings mm-hmm. kwangu. Mm-hmm. Ama jamaa akaingia kwa gari. Nikauliza nyinyi ni akina nani kwani? Eh? Ati oh, mnatuliza mnatul- sisi ni akina nani? Mtajua mbele. Sisi ni maafisa. Kenya ilinisaidia beshi yangu kuna beshi yangu anaitwa Mike alikuwa karao mm. na alikuwa attached hapo Busia. Yeah. Sasa nikamwambia kama nyinyi makarao mmekuwa attached wapi? Umejua sasa mimi sijui ku drive. Mm. Kazola ndio dere. dere. Mimi sasa ndio nawauliza na, na maswali. Mm. Nini na, inaweza onyesha kwamba nyinyi ni makarao? Unipatie ID. Yenu ya kazi. Mm. Kasema oh mnataka kwa jeuri. Huyu jamaa katoka kwa back seat. Aka kuja kwa nini ya mbele akafungua mlango cha nguvu. Mm akasukuma Kazola hmm? kwa hii siti yangu sasa tumeshare na Kazola hii siti sasa yeye mm-hmm. ndiye ana drive mm-hmm. sasa ana drive asifa anaenda kwa police station mm-hmm. sasa mimi nika cool to down nikasema hii hii imeenda hii ni kama hii mm-hmm. gari yangu hii mm-hmm. inaenda tena kurudi huko mm-hmm. juu sasa sijui sijai nunua gari mm-hmm. bro huyu jamaa aliendesha na kabla afike police station na kasimamisha gari. Kaniambia bro. Nyinyi ni ma youth, tunataka tuonge. Hii gari menunua lakini hamjafuatilia zile procedures zenye zinatakikana. Sasa mimi siwezi penda tuende police station. So for that matter, uh, it's either gari narudi ama mtupatie kitu kidogo sisi tuende. Nikamwambia si basi mngesema mapema. Umejua saa hizo nikimeshakuwa tensed. Mm. Nataka ku defend gari. <laughs> eh, sitaki gari iende. Okay. Sasa nikamwambia sasa mnasemaje? Wakasema wanataka 10,000. Nikamwambia 10,000 anakuna. Mimi pesa ni naweza nikawapatia ni 5 ka? 5,000. Yes. Sawa. Tukatoka. Sasa umejua nilikuwa na pesa. Sasa nikachukua mkono nikaika hivi nikahesabu hesabu huko ndani. 5k nikato. Kato toa nikawapatia. Hao wakae? Wakaenda. Okay. Wakaenda. Nikaambia sasa huyu Kazola, sasa Kazola, sasa tuende straight. Eh? Hii gari tunaenda tunaiweka kwa police station hapo ndani. <laughs> eh. 
Busia si tuko Kenya mm. haya tunaenda Jumai kanafanya pale mm. tunapeleka hii gari kwa police station lakini hao watu mimi nimewamark eh mm, mm. eh nimewamark najua si makarao lakini sasa ile pesa nitoa tu out of tension yeah. my friend nilikuja mm -hmm. nika lipa hii vile sasa tulikuwa tumesha lipa hao watu nikatoka sorry tukaenda tukaonana na Mike juu sasa tulienda mpaka police station kwenda police station Mike akakuja kumbe alikuwa amepelekwa assignment ya kulinda bank baadaye tukampigia tukakutana alafu nili manage kutoa hiyo gari yangu hapo hiyo siku usiku in fact huyo Mike ndiye alitupatia escort tukaenda mpaka a place called Bomala katuachia na huko. Okay. So, nikarudi tena kwa ile kazi yangu. Mm. So, by that time sasa nilienda mali inaitwa Muhoroni. Mjua bado sijui ku drive. Mm. Wakati huo tuko na Kazola ndiye alikuwa na act kama sasa driver wangu. Nikatumia wale wenzangu ile pesa, colleagues wakakuja, tukaendelea kuchapa kazi. Sasa tuna tumia hii gari, mm. tukaenda mali inaitwa uh, Chemelil tukafanya kazi Chemelil Nand Hills from Nand Hills Kapsabet Kapsabet so kufika mali inaitwa Namugoi Kapsabet mm. tukashikwa bado mkiendelea na ile kazi yetu na ile kazi yetu mm. mm. kumbe hapo kuna wale ambao pia walienda na shirika fulani ya microfinance wakakon watu so vile sisi pia tulienda au watu wakatushika sasa twende tujieleze. Ah. Mimi uh, by that time nilikuwa kwa sin mm. lakini nilikuwa nimetoka kidogo. Wale wenzangu wote wakashikwa. Mm -hmm. Gari haikushikwa, juu nilikuwa kwa gari mm. na ni, mimi sasa nilikuwa nakaa kwa gari nikishika simu. Okay. Eh, tuko na huyu Kazola. Mm. Juu ndio daire wangu mimi sijui ku, ku, ku drive. Mm. Sasa vile wale wenzangu walinipigia simu ya kwamba ameshikwa nikaambia Kazola sisi tuende wapi police station tuende LD si okay. police station muhepe sana sisi tunaepa tunaepa tukaepa tukaacha hao watu alafu nikatumia Kazola juu sasa Kazola uh, uh, hakukuwa anafanya na sisi hakujua hii kazi mm. sasa yeye mm. nikamtuma aende askize askize uh -huh. so the following day wale watu wakapelekwa kotini Kazola akaenda kumbe hawakupelekwa kotini kusomewa charge au makarao walienda kufanya ile kitu inaitwa miscellaneous application umejua fraud ukishikwa hmm. lazima ichunguzwe hmm. so kazola akaenda pale au watu wakapelekwa kotini msaidizi wakaomba one week wafanye investigation hmm. alafu akaregeshwa so kuregeshwa uh, nikapigia sasa CID Yukazola alinipatia namba yao nikamwambia mkubwa hao watu ni watu wangu lakini nataka tuonge tuongee akasema ukitaka tuongee sukuje akasema mimi saizi ni komba ni kombali lakini naomba tu waachilia watu juu hao watu pia walikuwa tu kwa ile harakati ya kutafuta tafuta hawajaibia mm. mtu eh hawajachukua kwa nguvu mm. na ni kazi tu yenye walikuwa wanafanya sasa mm. <laughs> ona tu vile unatusaidia mm ati hiyo itakuwa ngumu sasa we unataka tukusaidie namna gani nikamwambia mkubwa tuko na 10k so tukusukumie hiyo utusaidie hapana usitutumie pesa kwa simu mm. eh tuma nayo mtu mm -hmm. na watu walikuwa watu wanne mm. wenye walishikwa mm -hmm. so uh, nikatuma kazola na 10k kazola kaenda kufika hivi wakakataa 10k wakasema kila mtu anatoa kila mtu na 5k 5k we Eh, sasa ikabidi niongeze another 20 another 10000 mm. ikakuwa 20 mm. so nikafaulu kutoa watu wakatoka nje lakini sasa waliogopa hawakurudi mm. mm. sasa wakanipatia tu t-shirt jua lishikwa kama wamevaa t-shirt alafu tukaenda kwa room mali walikuwa wamebook nikawalipia juu walikuwa wameshikwa hawakulala kwa hiyo nyumba lakini mwenye ah. nyumba alikuwa anataka pesa yeye usiku okay. so hiyo siku ikaisha hivyo so tena nikakosa uh, colleagues yeah. so nikarudi nyumbani sasa juu hiyo nilikuwa naona hiyo ni kama nuks 
mm. eh? mm. nikaenda nyumbani na hii gari na Kazola tukakaa wiki moja tena tuka advertise mm -hmm. group nyingine tena watu waka waka, waka kuja sasa by that time sasa ni recruit my girlfriend anaitwa so, Yunis ule mwenye mlikuwa umemkatia kiwa tulikuwa tuna ah, kiwa campus nikiwa ni campus sasa mm -hmm. alikuwa kwa holiday mm -hmm. sasa tukaenda mali inaitwa sori uh -huh. in homa bay mm -hmm. in uh, sori karungui in homa bay lakini iko mpakani ya uh, mm -hmm. kuna pati ya homa bay na kuna pati ya migori mm -hmm. so sori actually iko kwa migori county mm -hmm. Iko Homa Bay County lakini iko karibu na Migori. Mm -hmm. So tukaenda sorry Karungu na kwa hii harakati nilikuwa na mademu wengi sana. Eh? Mm -hmm. Ju, umejua ukiwa in crime pesa ina flow na wakati pesa ina flow mwanaume anaonanga tu madem mm -hmm. ndio kitu important. Mm -hmm. eh. mm -hmm. At the same time ukiwa in crime mm. unatafuta madem wengi ndio at least wakue kama security mm. ndio ukitafutwa for example unaweza toka kwa huyu dem unaenda kwa nyumba ya dem fula wana ku host ama wana ku mm. something of that mm. kind mm. so nilikuwa na madem kama watatu different ladies sasa huyu dem wangu alikuwa dem wa campus imagine alikuwa anaelewa smartphone kunishinda. Mm. So nilikuwa na affairs na Omar Dem wengine. So ikafika wakati ye pia alikuwa ananishuku. Jutikiwa na ye ma au madem wange call sa zingine na na wa chat. Mm. Sasa kuna siku alichukua simu yangu mm. aka retrieve messages eh, zile nilikuwa natumia wale mm. madem. Mm. So akaniuliza Kuniuliza tukakosana kwa hii harakati ya kukosana mm. nikamslap. Mm -hmm. Kumbe huyu dem pia alikuwa na boyfriend ex wake na huyu boyfriend wake alikuwa ameajiriwa Homa Bay. Mm -hmm. Alikuwa anafanya kazi ya bouncer mm -hmm. in a certain club. <laughs> Nani pata? Sasa <laughs> dem akakasirika kapigia boyfriend wake bwana. Ni <laughs> sorry from Homa Bay to sorry is around 300 bob. Eh. Yule jamaa ka jam, eh? Anakuja, haizi kakakupiga na no, at the same time unasema kwamba ni criminal. Mm. By the way, nilikuwa nimesha expose myself to this lady, ah. juu nilikuwa nataka ajue ile ile ukweli yenye iko. Mm. Nika mm. open up nikamwambia A B C D. What I do? What I do? <laughs> Your first mistake. <laughs> yeah. Kumbe ilikuwa my mistake. Sasa si jamaa na huyu dem naye akakupigia yule jamaa. <laughs> Hiyo siku nilikuwa nafanya niende naye job. <laughs> lakini alikataa. Mm -hmm. Mimi nikaenda Kivyango. Okay, By that time nilienda mali inaitwa Luanda Konyango. Mm. Eh, kufanya hiyo shughuli yangu. Mm. Kwenda huko nilikuwa peke yangu. Gari sasa nimeacha nyumbani. Mm. Eh, Jui na gari pia sasa ilikuwa ina post suspicion. Nikienda mahali mtu aka concern sana na namba plate ilikuwa ya Uganda. Haiko mm. kwa ya Kenya. Mm. Sasa uh, uyu dem Kumbe yeye anachatisha yule jamaa wanaongea vile mm. yule jamaa atanipa nenda kupata yule jamaa kumbe anakuja Sasa mimi vile nilienda Luanda Konyango niko na pay bill namba na till namba uh, ya kampuni mm. nikahamasisha watu uh, nikaongea nao watu nikawapatia till namba na nikaongea na dem fulani pale nikampatia forms mm. apatiane hao watu mm. mwenye yako interested sasa mtu anakuja ana tuma pesa kwa till by that time it was 500 mm. na anachukua form anaenda anakujaza alafu analeta kwa huyu dem mimi huyu dem ataniletea baada baadaye baadaye nilikuwa nafanya hivyo kwa sababu sasa nilikuwa peke yangu na nilikuwa nafanya hivyo ili isionekane ya kwamba niko peke yangu itajulikana ya kwamba hii ni conning direct mm. sasa mimi nikafanya hivyo By the time nilikuwa natoka hapo Luanda Konyango pesa yenye nilikuwa nimepokea kwa tili ilikuwa 10000. Mm. Sasa nikarudi by saa saba. Kurudi mm. hivi mm. nikapata uh, yule dem hako kwa guest mali nilikuwa nimembukia lakini simu yake iko iko kwa nyumba. Mm -hmm. Iko kwa room. Alikuwa ameenda ba, kwa bafu. Mm. It was a, a secure place. So kuingia hivi message inaingia. 
nikachukua simu yake kuangalia message nikascrollisha down hivi napata message yule jamaa ameandika kwamba we are on our way coming eh? uh, in fact nikifika Luanda Konyango nikifika nikifika sorry naenda kwa police station nikuje na makarao so kusoma hiyo text tu hivi nikaweka tu hiyo simu yake chini nikachukua tu vitu zangu <laughs> nikaweka kwa back and uh, Maku nilikuwa nimelipa room for the whole week mm. 7000 you nilikuwa na lala room 1000 per day mm. it was our fourth day mm. in sorry so huyu dema lini betray so wale watu kukuja na tayari mimi nilikuwa nimeshajua dem kutoka bafu anapata tayari bag yangu haiko sasa akaenda kwa reception kuulizia yule msichana wa reception kwani nani amechukua bag ya deno na ameacha simu yangu simu yangu naye ajechukuliwa bag ni amechukuliwa akasema si deno ndiye ameingia akachukua bag mm huyu dema kanipigia deno kwani umeenda wapi kamwambia niko tu hapa nimeenda kuona beshte lakini naru, narudi narudi sitaki ajue kwamba mimi niko kwa ile harakati ya kuhepa mm. so ku, kwa sababu nilikuwa nimeshasoma ile text nikaona ya kwamba polisi amekuwa involved mimi nikachukua ile line yenye nilikuwa natumia nika drop hapo nika kaenda panda ndudhi sasa nikaenda migori unanipata mm. so nikaacha huyu demi hivyo baadaye sasa uh, nilipigia yule receptionist kwa namba nyingine nikishafika migori mm. akaniambia kwamba makarao walikuja hapo makarao kama sita kunitafuta akasema wa nimeponea hapo mm. niliponea fast mm. sasa migori umejua sasa niko peke yangu sina workmate mm. nikasema nitafanya namna gani so nikaenda mali inaitwa ki kihancha kuria mm. eh kuria iko boda uh, kuria is, account, is in migori county but mm. in a border tanzania and kenya okay. so nikaenda kwa club ingine inaitwa kanais mm. so kwenda kwa hii club mejua niko desperate nataka pesa juu ile pesa yani nimeshazoea kupata pesa daily on a mm. daily basis mm. so sitaki hii shughuli yangu isimame nikaenda pale kanais uh, nikanunua drink by the way mimi sikunywi pombe So nilikuwa tunadununua Del Monte. Alafu natulia mahali. Mm. So nikaulizia one of the ladies kama anaweza pata msichana yote ambaye anajua kusoma. Kaniambia kwamba wako wengi. Mm. Eh. So nikaongea na wabwili, nikawafanyia induction hapo ndani. Wakakubali. Mm. Lakini walikubali kwamba watakuwa wanamsaidia daytime na by five watakuwa nakuja kazi. Mm. Kasema it's okay. Sasa tukaenda mali inaitwa Kegonga. Mm. Kegonga sasa tulienda tulikuwa tuna deal na watu wa boda boda. Mm. Eh, tuka introduce another strategy ya pikipiki sasa kwamba tunapatiana pikipiki zile zinafanya kama uh, Mkopa. Mm. Eh, kama zile simu za Mkopa. Mm. Ukikosa kuzilipia zinakosa kufanya kazi. <laughs> so this uh, tactic was unique. So watu wakakuwa interested wanataka kuona hizo pikipiki. Watu wana register. My friend people registered. People registered. Hiyo tu. Yaani hakuna deposit. Unalipa registration fee of 500. Alafu kila siku utakuwa unalipa 220 shillings for two years. Kwa ndudhi. Kwa ndudhi. Alafu ukimaliza pikipiki na baki na kwa yako. People really registered. So niliona ile strategy ina convince watu haraka uh. lakini sasa the harmful part of it tulikuwa tuna deal na watu wa boda boda unajua boda boda hata yeah. upande wa mob anakuanga very very bad yes, yeah. so mimi niliogopa na sikukuwa uh, naenda kwa sin wakati wanaenda kufanya registration mm. ya pesa mm. so nilikuwa tunaenda tu na wahamasisha then the following day our ladies ndio walienda wakaongelesha yeah. wakaregister wakatuma mm. pesa mm. So nikatoka hapo nikaenda mali inaitwa Ntimaru. Mm. Kwenda Ntimaru mm. kumbe mm. kuna jamaa fulani wa boda boda mm. alikuwa me Google hizi dish microfinance akapata kwamba zidish microfinance ina deal tu na mambo na pesa uh, lakini asset financing bado haikuwa inapatiana. Yeah. So 
akahanda wale wasichana ntimaru sasa hizo mimi niko ntimaru lakini siko kwa scene of crime mimi yeah. niko tu kwa hoteli mm. na shika zile simu mm. yule wale mademo akanipigia Dennis eh, tumeshikwa tunapelekwa ntimaru police station mm. uh, by that time nilikuwa na almost uh, 70000 cash mm. nikasema kama umeshikwa uh, wacha ni nikuje Eh. By the way nilijipeleka huko. Nikasema mimi nilikuwa na pamoja na hao na hii kazi sisi tuko na mdozi wetu. Sasa kama mnamtafuta naweza nikawa peleka mali hako. Mm. Mimi nikapateana namba fake. Eh, namba ya ex colleague wangu ambaye aliniacha tuliko sana na yeye. Okay. Eh, na hiyo namba yule jamaa alienda akafunga jiu watu walikuwa wanamsumbua. Mm. Yeye pia alikuwa anapatiana namba yake kwa fail. Mm. So nikasema ni huyo ndio boss. boss. So umejua kawaida ya polisi na kwanga pesa. Mm. Na nilikuwa na pesa ndio maana nilikuwa na hiyo courage. Mm. Nikapata DCI mjaluo nikamwambia bro. Hao wasichana mimi niliwapata tu pale sirari. Eh, hawajui anything. Wakasema hakuna eh, hii ni crime. Mm. Sasa nyinyi lazima tu mface uh, the consequences, consequences of law. Mm ambia sawa sawa majamaa so pia umeenda ukashika pamoja na wao si sasa tumekuwa book 10 eh, pamoja nao ju sasa tunajua ile kitu inafanyika mm. sasa mimi nikasema nataka mm. kuona DCI hiyo tuonge tuonge nikatolewa njoo polisi akisikia tu unataka muongee hiyo ni mambo na pesa mm. so, nikawaambia bro mimi nataka mtuachilie juu sasa hii kesi itatupotezea wakati na mimi niko na mgonjwa ku hospitali Naomba tu muone tu vile mnanisaidia. Hao majamaa mm. wakanisikiza wakaniambia mnataka tuwasaidie namna gani? Nikasema mimi niko na 10k naomba mchukue hiyo pesa mtuachilie. Juu kesi hata mkipeleka kotini. Niko na cash bill mimi naenda kutoa eh? na at the same time hakuna kitu mnaenda ku benefit. Akasema hiyo hapo naye unaongea kama mwanaume mm. hapo umefikiria sana. Mm. Lakini nilijua ya kwamba inaenda kuniwezesha time. Mm. Eh, halafu Kashbin pia niliona maybe it, tutapigwa kila mtu Kashbin na sitaki kuharibia wale wasichana mm. CV. Mm. So nika na hiyo 10,000 nikapatia polisi tukaachiliwa. Mm-hmm. So kuachiliwa wakati huo corona ilikuwa imeanza. Mm-hmm. Na nipata yeah. sasa groupings ilikuwa imebaniwa na government. Mm. So ikitu ilinigonga kweli kweli. Mm-hmm. Na sikukufa moyo. Mm. Nilienda mpaka Mombasa kwenda Mombasa nikaenda uh, uh, kwale county Diani mm. wakati corona, il, corona ilikuwa inaanza mm. so nikafanya hapo Diani na ile strategy ya microfinance bado tu ile ya loaning nikaachana na ya boda boda sasa mm-hmm. ya loaning nikarudi kwa ile ya loaning kaona boda boda iko na swara mingi iko na swara mingi alafu in case of mob unajua <laughs> watu wa boda boda wanakuwa direct <laughs> so <laughs> <laughs> nikasema heri ni deal na mama mamboga. Mm. Eh. Mm. So nikaenda Dion Diani nikaongelesha hao watu nikaenda kwa certain market naitwa Posta. Kwa sababu ya corona walihamisha watu wakapeleka mm. soko ya Posta. Mm. So mimi nikaenda pale nikajitambulisha. Huyo jamaa kanipatia nafasi nikaongelesha watu wale wa mama. Ah watu waka Sema hii shirika ni mzuri sana. Eh mm. sikia shirika kama hiyo. Yeah. Eh, hii itasaidia watu. Sasa nilikuwa peke yangu by that time. Na kwa sababu sasa hiyo siku nilienda tu kuwaongelesha hawakukuwa na fare warejista hiyo siku. Nikawapatia date. Mm. So mimi baada ya kuwaongelesha nikarudi ku recruit sasa watu ambao watanisaidia. Sasa hapo ndio nilichukua msichana anaitwa Yasmin. Mm. Eh, Yasmin Mangale mm. ni mduruma. Mm. So huyu Yasmin tukaenda naye pale hakukuwa anajua chochote. Mimi nikaongelesha hao watu tena. Nikwambia sasa ukitaka kurejista lipa kwa ile till number watu wakasukuma pesa nika reduce registration fee to 400 sasa mm. watu walipamp pesa pump pesa pale uh, pesa ikafika 12000 sasa vile pesa ilifika 12000 uh, nika feel suspicious kujuku na jamaa alikuja hapo amekladi akaniuliza maswali ofisi zenu ziko wapi nikamjibu nikamconvince yeye akatoka akatoka kwa kile yangu Mjua mwizi akionanga mtu uh, smart mm-hmm. for example crime ya white collar crime yenye nilikuwa nafanya kama conning mm-hmm. ukiona smart person in civilian automatically akili yako inakwambia huyo jamaa 
ni CID. Mm. Eh. Sasa akili yangu ikaniambia wenda maybe ule ni smart person tu kama mimi mm. ama ni CID. Mm -hmm. So nika feel and secure nikatoka hapo. Nikaacha huyo Yasmin mm -hmm. akiendelea na hiyo shughuli. Mm. Lakini sasa yeye alikuwa green na kukuwa anajua chochote. Mm. Yeye kazi yake ilikuwa tu kujazia watu loan form. Sasa in case of any question alikuwa anaambia watu wanipigie. Mm. So wengine wanapiga wana pata niko on another call wanapata namba iko busy na saa tayari commotion iko pale mm. sasa kitu ikaniambia wewe rudi tu sikuwe na wasiwasi wewe wasi. maybe tu alikuja kuulizia mimi nikarudi kurudi watu wanauliza maswali oh mara kuna shirika zingine zimekuja maana mimi pesa zangu zilipotea kwa chama mm. eh wengine wa kuna ile suspicion Nikwa convince. Sasa hizo pesa umejua pesa ina, inaongezeka. Mm, mm. Ikafika wakati sasa till number mm. mimi kwenda ku check balance ni kuna 18000. Mm -hmm. Nika toka hapo nikasema sasa watu wameto? wametosha. Watu wametosha. <laughs> eh. Hatuwezi tukachukua kila mtu. Mm. Ah watu wakasema kumbe hii kitu ni ukweli eh. Mm. Juu ingekuwa huyu jamani mwizi baada angeendelea na hii shughuli. Mm. Ah watu wakakuwa convince tukatoka. Mm. Tukaenda kwa hoteli, tukakaa na huyu ya Yasmin, yes, tukakunywa, tukakula, nikampatia 1500 yake akae, akaenda. akaenda. Mimi nikachukua pesa zangu, nikarudi. In fact that same same day ndio sasa, mm. first case ya corona ilikuwa imetangazwa na Mutai Kagwe saa 10 mm. ya kwamba kuna one case ya corona mm. in Kenya. Sasa usafiri kabaniwa. Okay. Sasa hapo ndio niliendanga Mombasa Ju sasa nataka kurash. Mm. Kwenda Mombasa nikachukua Uber mpaka airport. Nataka kurudi Nairobi. Ju safari ya basi mm -hmm. imebaniwa. Mm -hmm. Sasa nikaenda hawako kwa meban the, the same day walikuwa wamepatiana allowance eh? okay. Sasa nikaenda airport eh? Nikaulizia ju mimi pia niko na ile wasiwasi maybe nafua. Nafuata ju watu wa safari kwa walikuwa wameni call Ayu. ya kwamba kuna majamoa anataka kufanywa reversal. Okay. Sasa mimi nilikuwa nawapatia go ahead. Sasa wanatoa pesa kwa uh -huh. kwa till number uh -huh. ili wasifunge. In fact hiyo simu ya safari kwa nilinifanya sasa ni rush. Oh. Sasa nikakuwa na wasiwasi maybe naweza nikashikwa mm. ie eneo. Mm -hmm. Sasa lazima niondoke tu haraka haraka. Mm -hmm. Nikaenda nikachukua flight. Nilikuwa nadhani flight ni 4500 vile nilikuwa najua kitambo. Mm. Kufika pale nikaambiwa flight ni 6000 700. Mm. Mimi nikalipa tu nika. Uondoke tu kwa e, sini. Nikaondokea sini nika. Mm. Shuka hapo Jomo Kinyata mm. na Jumbo Jet. Mm. Sasa corona ikaisha. Corona kuisha, umejua sasa nimesota nyumbani. <laughs> Sina do. Wenye urudi uliurudi. Nilienda Ushago. Si haya. Na ukatulia tu bila mambo mengi. Eh. Mm. By that time bado nilikuwa na pesa zingine. Sasa umejua nimekula zile do zikaisha mm. lafu nilikuwa na some few projects pia nilikuwa nafanya after that vile corona sasa ilisha nikarudi sasa that one was 2021 mm -hmm. nikarudi kwale kwa sababu niliona watu ni wajinga huko <laughs> eh <laughs> nikaenda sasa mahali naitwa uh, lunga lunga mm -hmm. kwenda lunga lunga uh, nikaita yasmin mm. yule dem tulikufanya na yeye si akakuja Ukuja, tukaanza kazi lunga lunga, market, asubui, mpaka satisa. Mm. Kumbe kuna jamaa, tuliai mkono wapi, eh, diani, market, mm. alikuwa mekuja lunga lunga, akaniona na ile shati nilikuwa nimevaa. Sasa mungu nae ni nani, uu jamaa kukuja kwa sin, mm. eh, kuniambi ushi. Yeye, kitu ilimambia, enda ushitaki huyu jamaa kwa karao kwa sababu alikuwa anaenda Tanzania alienda kwa wao maaskari wa boda ah. aka report pale ku report pale akaambia watu ya kwamba nimeona kuna jamaa alikutukon pesa mingi huko diani na ako pale ana kon watu wengine pale lunga lunga uh -huh. dakika kidogo mimi nashtukia pikipiki mefika ile ya karao ile ya patrol eh? uh -huh. na plain cloth police officers wakakuja kukuja hivi kulikuwa na askari fulani hapo Masai 
na mwingine alikuwa mkalenje. Maliza mm. nani anashughuli anashughulika na hii mambo hii hapa? Mm. Najua tu ile asenti ya polisi. Yeah. Nikasema tu hao ni makarao. Kanjeki Nikasema umani. ni mimi. Mm. Eh, eh, ni mimi. Umejua sasa hizo sina dopoa. Eh, kuna tu pesa uh, nilikopesha beshi yangu huko nyumbani ya kuanzisha hii miradi. Mm. Eh, lazima ukue na pesa ya ku travel here and there. Mm. So huyu jamali nikopesha 10k. Lakini watu wamesha tuma pesa kwa tail almost 15,000. Mm -hmm. So tail iko na 15,000 pamoja na ile 10,000 nilikuwa nimekopesha, nimesha tumia zingine mm. eh, za kwa transport niko na like 23,000. Mm. So hao wakajitambulisha kwamba sisi ni afisa wa hapa custom mm. na tunataka tu uandamane na sisi mpaka police station. Mm. Ju kuna jamaa me report huko kwamba whatever you are doing it's not legal. It's not legal. Bro ni kapeleko huko. Mmejua sasa hizi Yasmina ameenda kununua maji ya kunywa. Mmejua huko kupata maji ni ngumu juu watu wanatumia tu maji ya chupa. Mm. Juu ni yeah. salty water. Salty water yeah. So bila Yasmina alirudi mama mwingine anamwambia kwamba kwani wewe hujashikwa? Yule mwenzako ameshikwa amepelekwa police station. Huyu dem kusikia hivi yeye akachukua pikipiki aka kaepa. Akaepa. Mimi nikapelekwa. Kupelekwa police station wakati niko sasa niko kwa ndudhi juu ni bebo ana pikipiki Sijanyang'onya simu yangu. Mm. Sasa mimi saa hizi nafanya transaction, natoa pesa kwa ile till, napeleka kwa ile namba ya Sahara, mm. from namba ya Sahara na transfer kwa namba ya yako, kwa namba yangu. Nika succeed ku kuzituma. Mm. Sasa kufika station, nikanyang'anywa simu, nikaanza kupigwa search. Nikatolewa manguo zote, wakaangalia kama niko na mark, wananipiga picha. Eh, baada ya kunipiga picha uh, nikabukiwa inside police mm. station sasa mm. Mm. inside the cells that time kuna vitu zangu nilikuwa nimeacha kwa guest room mm. nikaulizwa vitu zako ziko wapi nikawaambia mm. so tena grand cruiser ikakuja ikanichukua mm. tukaenda nao mpaka mali nilibook uh, guest room pale mm. wakachukua vitu zangu hapo mm. Tukarudi tena station. Mm. So police station na pele kwa wapi? Eh? Police station ni pele kwa wapi? Police station ni lunga lunga. Ah, okay. Eh, mm. Lunga lunga police station. Mm. Sasa after that, mm. ni kengizwa ndani sasa ilikuwa usiku. Mm. So the following day, wale wa mama sasa wakaku? Wakakuja. Wakakuja, wale complainers. <laughs> na mimi ni kaitua. Uh, DCI waka niuliza unataka sasa tukusaidia na mnagani. Suregeshia so, watu pesa zao. Nikasema mimi sina shida. Eh. Sasa nikasema tu acha tu. Hii niende kama nimeenda asa. Asa. Nimeenda sara. Eh. Mm. Juu hata sasa zingine unaizaenda kazi mm. eh, ukiwa na gari Shumbeki. na unapata pancha. Eh. Mm. Mm. So nilichukua hiyo tu kama pancha nimepata kwa kwa, kwa njia. Eh. Mm. So nikakubali kuaregeshea pesa, nikawaregeshea, nikawarefund mm. pesa zao zote. Mm. Ile 15,000 walikuwa wamenitumia kila mtu kwa namba yake. Then uh, there after Mm. Mm, nikarudishwa ndani tena. Hao mafande wakaniambia umemalizana nao watu lakini sasa sisi pia lazima utulinde. Mm. Eh, sasa sisi unatufanya namna gani? Nikauliza sasa nyinyi mnataka namna gani? Eh, sisi nataka hii kesi ende makamani mm. na kama wewe utaki ende makamani mm. basi wewe tupatie 100,000. Yu tuko watu sita. Eh na sisi umejua hii ni boda bwana sisi hatuchukui pesa kidogo mm. nikajaribu ku plead nao nikawaambia kwamba mimi ile pesa na za afford ni 5000 juu pesa yenyewe yenye nilikuwa nayo ni nimepeana ni 15000 ile nimeshapeana na nimebaki na 5000 wakaniuliza kwani una watu wako eh wewe tunakupatia wiki moja bwana eh leo hata tukupeleki kotini tunakupeleka tu kotini kusoa ile affidavit mm asking for more days bado mm. tutakaa na wewe hapa mpaka usanye sanye pe mm. usanye sanye pesa so wakati nilikuwa napelekwa kotini nilidhani wanaenda kunisomea plea mm. kumbe hao watu wanaenda tu ku apply for miscellaneous application mm. kofi so kufika pale wakaitisha 21 days wa eh hey, 
21 days. Kumbe target yao watu ni kunieka ili hizo 21 days ni kweni nimepiga simu nyumbani watu wa nyumbani wakuwa wamesha sanya ile 100,000 ni wapatie mimi okay. ni achiliwe. Mm. So ni karudi back. Mm -hmm. Kurudi back. Kama nimekuwa disappointed sana juu sasa kulala kwa simiti bro for 21 days mm. ni kazi ngumu. Sasa mimi nikasema acha tu nivumilie. Yeah. Nilivumilia mpaka 21 days ikaisha. Sasa siku yenye nilikuwa napelekwa kotini mm. nikaenda kwenda uh, maji sasa takaingia akajitambulisha mimi ni Sandra Ogot nikasema huyu ni mjaluo. Mm. Uh, na mimi ndio nitakuwa na proceed na hizi cases za leo. Mm. Sasa mimi nikasema nataka kuongea na lugha ya kijaluo niongeleshe yule magistrate ndiye atanielewa mm. kwa undani mm. juu nimeshajua ya kwamba ni mjaluo mm. so mimi nika somewa plea nikakubali kukubali nikainua mkono nikasema mimi nitaongea kwa lugha ya kijaluo mm. nikajifanya sijui kizungu sijui kiswahili <laughs> wakaita translator mm. akukukua na translator mjaluo mm. magistrate akasema let us just proceed mr prosecutor that is my local language mm. uh, nikasema kijaluo nikaomba magistrate mimi yenyewe nilikuwa nimetumwa kazi na boss wangu pamoja na msichana fulani mwenye tunafanya naye my colleague mm. lakini sasa cha kusichangaza msichana aliachiliwa akaenda na mimi nika ingizo ndani eh si kujua kwamba ile kitu tunafanya ni scam mm. eh mm. sasa magistrate akanisikiza akaniambia being that it is a, it is a criminal case mimi siwezi nikakuachilia mm. eh ile kitu ninge kwa advice ufanye enda uulaas na complainants wako wakuje wakutolee kesi mm. unanipata mm. so nikarudi juu siku ya kusomewa plea kuna kitu nafanya yeah. So nikarudi Karudishwa police station police station mm -hmm. lakini sasa court ilikuwa imeamuru sasa nipelekwe shimo la tewa oh. by that time corona ilikuwa imeishaisha mm. lakini bado ma stations zilikuwa zinapeleka watu quarantine mm. ndio sasa unaingizwa prison, prison. Okay. so being that i was supposed to be taken to kwale prison mm. nilipelekwa shimo la tewa mm. for quarantine then after that ndio nikakuwa transferred okay. So tarehe nyingi pewa ya kotini ilikuwa tarehe 6 April 2022. Mm. Ya kurudi sasa tena ni nifanyi ni pewe ile judgment sasa. Mm. So hiyo siku ilipata kama niko shimo la tewa na gari yenye ilikuwa inafaa ikuje ituchukue. Hiyo Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Ilipata pancha. <laughs> sasa haikukuja. Eh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tukakaa for other days eh hapo mm -hmm. ndani mm -hmm. so ile day yangu ya kotini iliruka mm -hmm. and imagine saa hizo nilikuwa nimeshaelewana na wale complainants wakakuja kotini na nilikuwa nimeelewana nao ya kwamba kuja wanitolee kesi mm -hmm. na kila mtu mimi nitapatia kila mtu 1100 nilikuwa nime risk nataka kutumia 40000 at least ni malizane na hiyo is, issue Mm. kwa sababu hata kama ningeacha hiyo issue mm. mm. bado ningepigwa cash bail na nitoe cash bail though cash bail ni ile refundable money yeah. lakini sasa nilikuwa naangalia ile time mm. yenye nita waste mm. juu kwetu ni mbali siwezi kuwa natoka siaya kukuja kufanya kesi wapi mm. kwale mm. eh unaweza fanya hata kesi one year mm. niliona hiyo ni pesa mingi sasa nikaku nikakubali at least nilipe wa wale watu mm -hmm. nikawa convince Juu sasa nilikuwa nimeenda nimeboro pesa kwa beshi yangu akantumia mm. pesa kwa simu 50k ya kwamba sasa nita mregeshea. Mm. Ni mtu tulikuwa tunasaidiana na yeye kwa hii harakati sasa alijua ya kwamba nikimuitisha nime, nimesota. Mm. Jamaa akanitumia pesa niko na 50k. Majamaa wamekuja kotini lakini mimi au kuletwa. Si kuletwa. Na from lunga lunga tu msambueni court ni 200 to and fro. Mm. So jamaa tena waliona ya kwamba hizi wakakuja the following day na walikuja 40 people wote walikuja hiyo siku. So the following day sasa awangeweza kukuja 
wakaniambia Dennis you nilipelekwa prison sasa nikatumia simu ya welfare mm. kuwatafuta sasa through chairman chairman akaniambia Dennis sasa hakuna vile tutakusaidia jua watu wanasema waizi kuja mara ya pili mara ya pili yeah. sasa nikasema liwe liwa liwalo liwa sasa mm-hmm. sasa nikarudishwa sasa uh, kotini sasa kusomewa mm. judgment mm-hmm. juu siku yangu ilikuwa imeruka yeah. Kusomewa judgment dikapelekwa court to yule magistrate yule nilipelekwa kwake first day mm. yule mjaluo wako kwa mm. nikapelekwa kwa another magistrate mgeni anaitwa Joy Mambona mm. sasa huyu Joy Mambona ndiye alikuwa ameanza hii kariya yake okay. Njua bado ametoka campus akuna mioto ametoka college akuna mioto sana mm. anataka tu kufunga watu eh? <laughs> hey. sasa <laughs> Askari fulani akaniambia bro huyu huyu msiana naye anafunganga watu vibaya eh? Eh? wakati unatoa mitigation eh? mm. toa mitigation ukiwa makini sana yeah. eh. mm. mitigation ni malilio yeah. so akanisomea akakuja akanisomea mashtaka akawamba kulingana na vile ulikuwa umehojiwa na probation mm. probation Awangeweza kukuchukua kwa sababu wewe ni mtu ambaye alikuwa tu anahama hama. Okay. Eh, part of judgment anaendelea kusoma. Mm. Kwa hivyo wewe uli plead guilty na mahakama imeamua kukufunga mwaka mmoja. Nikasema wa mjua nilikuwa na expect nitafungwa hata miezi mi sita ama minne mm. kulingana na vile yule magistrate wa kwanza niliambiwa alikuwa anafunga watu. Mm hizo miezi tu juni obtaining obtaining si kesi kubwa vile mm. alafu pia pesa yenye ilikuwa na obtain pia iliku kwa pesa mingi mm. sasa nimeshamaliziwa sasa mimi nimekaa sasa ili gari sasa ya prison sasa i, itoke lazima court iishe mm. sasa hiyo siku kulikuwa na jam mzee alikuwa made file uh, school girl Aya. Ye pia alikuwa ameenda judgment. Mm. My friend huyu mzee alipigwa 60 years. Daka kidogo koti ka change. Vile tu judgment yake tu ilianza tu kusomwa, mm. makarao wakaanza kuingia. Ndani 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 wengi sasa makarao wakajazana paka mlango ya koti ikajama karao. Mm. So kumbe walikuwa ameshajua kwamba huyu mzee anaenda kufu, kufungwa kufungwa miaka mingi. Mm. Akafungwa 60 years akachukuliwa sasa yeye akaikwa kwa gari nyingine ndogo anapelekwa Shimolatewa straight away mm. Mimi nikaingia kwa gari ya prison juu mimi sasa uh, ndio nilikuwa nimefungwa hiyo siku pamoja na huyu mzee lakini mzee alikuwa ameenda yeah. amepelekwa Shimolatewa mimi ni napelekwa uh, kwa le prison sasa okay. juu sentence yangu ilikuwa Mkidogo. less than 5 uh, years yes. kwa le nachukua less than 5 years prisoners mm. Sasa nikapelekwa prison my friend. Kupelekwa prison tuko pale kwa gate. Mm. Tumekaba. Mm. Kukaba ni ku squat. Au maskarao wakakuja wanauliza akina nani wamefungwa? Kainua mkono juu. Mm. Left. Saizo niko na nywele nime treat nywele bro niko na niko na uh, Nimenyoa punk eh okay. nikai treat vizuri sana mm. nikasikia documentation prison anaitwa Hassan koja uko na mgeni huyu Hassan akakuja akanichukua mm. Hassan kukuja kunichukua tukaenda na yeye kwa store mm. kufika na yeye kwa store ananiambia bro sasa hapa ni kutoa manguo zote hey. unabaki tu na boxer mm nikatoa manguo mm. akaniambia chukua hii ile gunia mwaga hapa nikachukua gunia nikamwaga chini mm. kumbe hii gunia imebeba ma- kunguru sasa <laughs> <laughs> bro kutafuta nguo mm. ilinichukua like 30 minutes juu kila nguo nacha, nachagua ni ile imeraruka eh? mm. ile ukipata shati unapata shati yenye mgongo ni wazi mm. ukipata short unapata short huku kwa matako ime raruka raruka so, so, so alikufunga mwaka mzima bila fine alinifunga one year without fine option ya fine obtaining hakuna option ya fine 
hiyo ndio nilikuja ku realize eh? obtaining hakuna option ya kufine mm. so <coughs> by the way angenipatia fines ingelipa juu nilikuwa na ile pesa na hata haingi kuwa more than 50000 mm. sasa nimevaa hizi kunguru napelekwa kwa ward mm. ward ya prisoners bro mimi kupelekwa ward ya prisoners nilipelekwa kitu za kumi na moja na nusu kuingizwa tu hivi pap wasee wameanza ku celebrate eh 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 e. kuna msanii ameingia ndani ya nyumba e. wananiita msanii juu ya nywele juu ya nywele yani nilikuwa nakaa kama msanii <laughs> e. kuna msanii e. sasa wananisogelea karibu eh bro mm. shida ni nini juu kila mtu sasa alikuwa na kipara unajua mm. kifungwa sheria ya huko la ya kwamba lazima unyolewe sasa jamaa ananikuja na niambia wewe bro. Ah, pole sana bwana. Pole sana. Umefungwa muda gani? Na kuambia one year. Ah, hiyo ni swaswa hiyo. Wanaita swaswa. <laughs> swaswa yani, yani umefungwa <laughs> muda kidogo okay. ni haraka haraka na utaachiliwa. Mm. Ah, sasa mimi nikajipa moyo. Sasa jamaa fulani akanikujia anaitwa Waingo. Akaniuliza bro unatoka wapi? Nikasema mimi natoka Siaya. Ah, mimi kumbe wewe ni jirani wangu bwana. Mimi natoka Busi, Bungoma. Hapo mm. tu Kandui. Mm. Nikasema okay. Mm-hmm. Sasa mimi naitwa Waingo na usikue na wasiwasi. Mimi ndio kinyozi, mimi ndio nanyoanga watu. Mm-hmm. Sasa kesho ukuje ni kunyo? Ni kunyoe. Mm-hmm. Eh, hey, nikasema kwani kunyoa utaninyoa vile nitataka kweli? Akaniambia bro wangu hapa kuna style. Hapa <laughs> nikipara. Eh? Nikasema wa. <laughs> wa. <laughs> <laughs> sasa nikakubali hali. Mm. Doi liniuma sana kuona nywele yangu mm. inanyolewa. Mm. So by that time atukukua tumepewa location ya gang. Unajua mm. kifungwa jela ndogo lazima ufanye kazi utumikie serikali sasa. Yeah. Sasa kuna ile kitu inaitwa gang allocation. Mm. Mahali pako pa kazi utakuwa na report wapi? Kama ni kitchen, mm. kama ni shamba, mm. kama ni cleaner utakuwa unafanya cleaning kama ni for example industry wale wenye walikuwa wamefungwa muda mrefu sasa wanapelekwa industry mm. sasa mimi e, na wenzangu tukapelekwa for medical mm-hmm. check up mm. kwa ile prison kwa ile aina internal uh, medic mm. tunapelekwa kwa ile prison kwa ile prison ama kwa ile hospital kwa ile hospital i mean okay. uh, for uh, check up mm. tukapelekwa kwa ile hospital pale sasa hakuna hata kitu unasema unaenda tu pale unapimwa ukishapimwa daktari anaandika tu fit 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 kumbe ukiandikiwa fit hii ripoti kirudi ni shamba direct <laughs> my friend kwa miaka yangu yote shamba tu kukuwa tunapatana naye hata nikiwa ushago <laughs> tulipelekwa shamba the following day shamba ya prison ni kutoka hapa unaona ile nini ile 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 flyover pale hey. hiyo ndio mwisho wa shamba kutoka hapa mpaka huko na unashika line mbili ya mahindi hmm. line line inatoshana hivi tu hmm. unapalilia kutoka hapa mpaka pale kwa lori unajua ni distance ya aina gani ah. sasa askari moja amesimama hapa hmm. askari moja amesimama pale katikati wamepangana hmm. askari kama wanne Uwe. mpaka huko hmm. na ni shamba ya prison iko tunapewa mpaka escort. Mm. Alafu huko nje nje kuna police dog eh? mm. eh, ya kuangalia. Eh, kama maybe unaweza ukatoroka mm. wanakufuata mm. na hizo manini. Mm. Sasa bro nilijaribu kulima nikalima nikalima kufika katikati ah nikalemewa. So askari mwenye alikuwa hapo karibu na mimi akakuja akaniambia we wewe kigoigoi nini mbaya na wewe? <laughs> eh? eh? Uwe uko na kesi gani? Mm nikasema obtaining. Oh, nilijua watu wa obtaining hawezi wakafanya hii kesi. <laughs> na wewe ulifikaje hapa? Watu mm. wa obtaining wanakongwa wachache sana. Mm. Inakwanga nadra sana au kufika hapa hapa prison. Mm. Eh? Sasa wewe unataka namna gani bwana? Juu kiandikiwa shamba utakuwa unakuja shamba kila siku. Uko na kitu nikusaidie? Mm. Nikasema kitu kama kitu kigani kajifanya. Si unaelewa hii maneno bwana? Eh? <laughs> kan akaniambia wewe leta 1000 bwana nikusaidie eh uandikiwe kadi mali kwingine mm. so nikamwambia niko akaniuliza uko na pesa nikamwambia niko na pesa niko kwa documentation 
kanibea basi nitakutafuta so nikarudishwa ga, tukarudishwa prison saa mm. tano. Mm. kwenda kukula sasa yeah. kuingia hivi prison umejua nimelima nimechoka eh? for the first time nimefanya ile vigorous job <laughs> so kufika nikasema hii sasa nataka kutafuta njaro mm. wakati watu walikuwa uh, wanakaba pale mimi nikajifanya mimi nimezira nimezirai nimezirai wakaita prisoner mwenye ana na mambo na Med. hospitali eh. anaitwa coach coach mm. kuja nikafanyiwa first aid uh, nika simama uh, nikaambiwa wewe ikaa tu hapo kwa kivuli mm. sasa nikakaa nikahesabiwa hapo siku squat hesabu ikapita alafu nikaenda kwa kwa DOD sasa mm. eh, DO mm. DO ya hiyo siku nikasema ya kwamba si feel vizuri naomba nipelekwe hospitali mm. nikapelekwe hospitali kupelekwe hospitali mimi nikaenda kwa ile madam mwenye alinifanyia check up nikamwambia madam uliandika mimi niko fit na mimi ujue kuna wakati nili involve in accident mm. nikaanguka hii nini kapasuka hapa so unaona hii ilishonwa mm. eh, sasa nikifanya vigorous job huwa na nose bleed sasa uliandika niko fit nikapelekwa shamba na nimekuwa niki nose bleed nashikwa na kizunguzungu mpaka naanguka mm. akaandika barua to the prison sasa so kuniandikia hii barua keshowe mm. bila tuliamka hesabu ya kwanza mabusu akiamka mm. unatoa ripoti ya nyumba eh in charge anatoa ripoti ya nyumba mm. so mimi nilienda kwa in charge nikamwambia kwamba mimi ni mgo ni mgonjwa nikasimamia ugonjwa sasa tena nataka nirejeshwe hospitali sasa mm. nataka kusumbua tu mm. eh, juu sitaki shamba <laughs> <laughs> sasa nikasimamia ugonjwa nikasema nimekuwa ni kino split hata sijalala huyu <laughs> coach akanisaidia eh Jua alikuwa mtu wa bara mwenzangu mm. eh akanisaidia akasema yenyewe huyu jamaa amenisumbua sana amekuwa kinosbleed the whole night mm. akasikizwa jua sasa ndio sasa anatichugulikia upande wa me- 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 medical mm. sasa sikwenda gang ya shamba hiyo siku <laughs> nikapumzika two days nikapeleka kadi sasa kwa docs mm. ibadilishwe sasa iandikiwe gang nyingine eh. ya cleaner Uh-huh. Kufika pale tulikuwa na afande mama pale kwa documentation umejua, umejua documentation mm. iko kwa gate okay. sasa maafande wanawake mm. wanafika mwisho kwa gate okay. vile ilikuwa prison ya wanaume hey. so huyu mama nilimpata kwa mutsumba alikuwa ametoka kwa leave mm. nikamwambia madam nimeambia ukuje uniandikie kadi akaniambia kwani wewe hujui kuandika Sio ni mjaluo, wajaluo mm. anajua kuandika wewe chukua hiyo kadi ukopi. Na hapo malipa gang useme uh, uandike cleaner. Mm. Nikaandika nikampatia akasa. Ngasai. Akaniambia as from tomorrow wewe utakuwa na report hapa. Mm. Juu huyo Hassan sasa muda yake imeisha, yeye yeah, anafaa aende nyumbani sasa. Mm. Anafua next week. Kufua yani ukitaka kuachiliwa mm. unafua a day to Okay. Eh. Uh-huh. Unaosha manguo zako alafu kesho una uh-huh. unachomoka sasa unachomoka. unaachiliwa. Okay. So nika report kazi the following day. Sasa umejua pale nilipata nafuu kidogo kwa sababu kazi ni pepa work tu. Mm. Una handle warrants, unapiga pale deki, kuna chai pale. Mm-mm. Alafu advantage nilipata sasa prison mm. ni ya kwamba uh, documentation wafungwa ama rumandiswa kitoka prison. Mm wanatokanga huko na marufuku. Mm. Juu watu wao wamekuja kuangalia kotini, mm. watu wanapewa wanawapatia pesa, sabuni, nini. Mm. Sasa mimi nikienda <laughs> kwa, kusaidia makarao kuwapiga search. Mm. Mwenye kona pesa ananipatia. Eh. Hey. Hey. Mwenye kona pesa ananipatia. Wanaweka pesa kwa tishu wananipatia. Mm. So mtu akipewa 1000 kotini. <laughs> Nikikubebea 1000. Hey. Mimi nakata 500. <laughs> eh? Na kupatia punch. Eh? Ukikataa, polisi anachukua hiyo pesa na wewe hakuna kitu unapata. Mm. 
Sasa walikuwa naona heri wanipatie. <laughs> Mimi ni kule 500 <laughs> nao kwa kule 500. Mm-hmm. Yes ilikuwa ni hasara kwao lakini sasa hawakuwa na option. <laughs> So I took this one as an opportunity. Eh, kazi nyingine. Kazi nyingine. <laughs> Alafu sabuni pia wakitoka naye huko mm. kuna wengine walikuwa wana chimba shab- sabuni na naweka bangi huko, mm. wengine wanaweka cocaine pale ndani inaitwa mm. nini? Eh, inaitwa unga. unga. Mm. Wanaweka pale ndani alafu wanakuja wana sale. Mm. Alafu wanaivunja hivi. Unajua ikifika pale lazima ivunjwe. Mm wakati wanafanyiwa search mm. lazima hiyo sabuni ivu, ivunjwe. ivunjwe sasa mwenye anajua kwamba kona unga ama ameweka kitu kwa sabuni mm. the moment ameniona pale ananipatia hii sabuni ya yake ananipatia hii sabuni ya sabuni yake na mbebea mm. mimi hakuna mkitu mtu ali, polisi alikuwa ananiuliza eh. juu mimi umetrust uh, ni, ni kama trusty by the way okay. eh. mm. so ananipatia hii sabuni yake na mwekea anapigwa search anakuja na anachukua hii hii unga wanaenda pale wanauza mimi pia niko na commission ya yako yangu pale ikifika pale mm. kwa prison mm. so hizi ndio some businesses nilikuwa nafanya pale mm. eh, kusukuma kifungo <laughs> umejua ukifungwa lazima utafute mbinu yeah. ya kusurvive mm. it's either uingie uh, uombe kwa maombi mm. Mejua kwa maombi ukiingia kuna wale ambao wanakujanga kupatiana misada yeah. hapo utapata hata kasabuni ama tishu. Mm. Alafu kwa sababu mimi watu wa kuniona walikuwa wanatoka mbali so, lazima ningetafuta tu mbinu. I was to ask you. Yes. Hii time unashikwa. Mm. Na ukafungwa. Mm. Huko me inform anyone about Siku inform me yote hata sikutaka wajui ya kwamba nimefungwa. Jumada wangu alikuwa ameshajua ile kitu nafanya na alikuwa ananiimiza niachane na hiyo shughuli kabisa juu siku moja nitawawa na mom mother mother atajua lini na atajua aje okay mother sasa alijua hii kitu kuna wakati nilimpigia mm. nilishikwa nikapigia beshti yangu mm. ku request for assistance yeah. na huyo beshti yangu hakukua na pesa mm. yeye akaenda kwa mother akaenda akaambia mother kwamba deno amenipigia lakini ameshikwa amesema ni mtafutie pesa lakini sina sasa kama mnaweza mkaata uza kitu at least muone vile mnamsaidia ni sawa mm. so hivyo ndio madea alijua oh. yeah. okay. eh, lakini wakati nilishikwa kwale sasa sikutaka ajue mm. eh, juu ilikuwa inampatia pressure oh, okay. yeah. so nilikufa tu kama kimwanamme mm. yeah. so uh, umesukuma kifungo so nikafukuma kifungo hivyo mm. uh, kukua kwa docs ilinisaidia sana uh, siku feel ile pain alafu pale documentation pia nilipata ile uh, niligain ile status ya VIP mm. siku kuwa naweza ni kuharasiwa na wafungwa wenzangu ama makarao eh, unapata mm. alafu ile kitu nilisaidia ile jela ilikuwa ya waduruma na wadigo pale bado wal, watu hawajasoma vile mm. sasa unapata uh, waf, wale rumandis mtu wako na charge sheet Uh, statement zake yako nazo lakini haielewi kizungu sasa nilikuwa naenda na watranslatia mm. ukimsaidia hiyo kazi anakulipa mm. juu pesa naye kukuwa shida wakionana watu wakikuja kuwaona pale mm. akipata kitu yake ana unashtukia tu sabuni imekufikia ama anakuandikia pesa kwa welfare oh. eh. so we bado ulikuwa na ile 50k pesa siku kwa nimeguza so hata bado wewe utauguzi ah, ah. <laughs> hapa kwa prison pia natengeneza do Eh. Eh, unapata? Uh-huh. In fact, hiyo one year nilitengeneza like uh, 10k. Wow. Eh, 10k tu kupitia tu hizo mashughuli mashughuli tu. Eh. Eh. si daily <laughs> lakini eh, sasa nilitoka jela nikiwa na 60,000. Wow. Eh. So, uh-huh. actually, uh-huh. Uh, wakati nilikuwa natoka, uh-huh. I was so disciplined. Eh, mpaka baba jela ile siku nilikuwa naita aliniita kwa ofisi yake mm. nikaandikiwa hii nikaandikiwa hiyo hiyo yeah, recommendation. Eh, recommendation letter mm. kumaanisha kwamba i was really really disciplined you know for when do we need we seal eh ni laminate mm. aka niambia kwamba hiyo mm. kitu itanisaidia kutafuta kazi mm. in case natafuta kazi mimi Mm. Niende tu niseme hata baba jela mm. amenituma. Mm. But unfortunately, huyu jamaa alipigwa transfer. Mm. Akatoka mm. after that time. Mm. Nikiwa natoka prison. Mm. Then baadaye 
nilisikia kwamba ali involved in accident pole akachana na hiyo kazi sasa tena siku uona haja ya kumsumbua mm. so hivyo ndio vile kulikuwa bro so experience yako ya prison haikuwa mbaya experience yangu ya prison mm. uh, yes naweza sema tu ya kwamba nilipoteza masaa mm. alafu pia wakati nilikuwa prison umejua nilikuwa na wife nilikuwa nimeoa by the way oh. wife alikuwa amezaa uh, mtoto alikuwa bado mchanga mm. uh, alikuwa na miezi alikuwa amezaa february 12th mimi nikashikwa niki uh, february nini march mm. 21st ndio nilifungwa march 21st so mm. umejua bibi amezaa na you are not there to yeah. provide yeah. sasa nilikuja nikapoteza huyu dem juu sasa alikaa nyumbani akazaa mwaka mzima hakuna mtu anajua kwa hakuna mtu anamshughulikia akaenda Nairobi kwenda Nairobi in fact yeye nilimpigia nikamwambia kwamba nimeshi oh. nimeshikwa juu siku okay. kwa nataka niache hmm. lakini this lady uh, was so vocal eh? mpaka kapigia watu wa nyumbani kumbe deno alikwanga tu jela nini 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 sasa akaleta mambo mengi hmm. mimi kutoka jela nikamconvince karudi nyumbani dakika kidogo lakini sasa nilikuwa nimesha kuwa na ile record mbaya mm. sasa huyu dem alikuja by that time pia niko na ile 60000 nimesha tumia part of it nimebaki na like 40 mm. nikanunua vitu zingine za watu za mtoi nikamnunulia vitu nikapiga shopping kwa nyumba sasa nikakaa lakini the moment hii pesa ilirudi chini mm. aka sense huyu dem akajitoa akasema kwamba anataka kwenda Saudi kutafuta kazi. So mm. mimi singe mlazimisha mm. uh, akae na mimi. Akaenda do siku machilia hivyo hivyo tulisukumana kidogo jumto yeye alikuwa amesha grow okay. amefikisha one year mm. lakini alipeleka kwa watu wa children. Mm. Nikanyang'anya mtu huyu bado mtu huyu alikuwa ananyonyeshwa. Uh. So dem akaenda marriage yangu ikasambaratika hivyo. After that uh, yeah. nikakaa nyumbani for one year sasa kama nimechill tu so last year yote eh, eh last year from november 21st 2022 to this time na kuongelesha okay eh, sija involved in any criminal activity ju nimekuwa tu nyumbani what 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 transpired or what convinced you to change ama uliamua like wewe utaki crime lini uh, okay kenya ilini convince sasa ni change mm. wakati tulikuwa tunangangania mtoto na huyu dem tulienda up tumefika kwa OCS ya area yetu mm. sasa huyu dem aliendanga huko akachoma bwana akasema huyu huyu ni criminal eh? mimi siwezi ishi na conman eh? mm. eh? in fact huyu jamaa kuna mabeshi zake wananipigianga simu sijui wanataka waende wafanye kazi ya kukon watu sijui mali fulani Eh, mafande huyu jamaa si mtu mzuri. Mm. So huyu afande akaniuliza deno is it true huyu dem anasema kwamba wewe ni conman? Nikamwambia yes it's true nilikuwa na con watu lakini nilishikwa nika nikaacha. nikaacha. Mm. Lakini nilikuwa very disappointed. Mpaka vile huyu jamaa aliniacha yani mimi nikitembea nilikuwa nimejidharau, eh? Nasema kama huyu dem anaweza ni ongelesha hivi na ananiongelesha hivi mbele ya ofisa itakuwaje mm. eh? in case anything ifanyike itakuwa namna gani alafu after that huyu dem alizidi akanichafua na watu wa area unaona mm. mabishti zangu watu mpaka ikajulikana kwamba mimi nimeaishikwa sasa kila dem amesikia hiyo story kwamba mimi nimeaishikwa niko nikapelekwa prison mm. anajitenga na mimi mavrafiki wanajitenga ai sasa mimi nikaishi kwa hiyo maisha nikasema wa so ukitoka prison bado ulikuona toka prison ukikujanga kuendelea na job mimi nilikuwa na bado na hiyo intention ya kuendelea mm-hmm. eh, because it was the only way of survival eh, sasa ile kitu ili discourage vile huyu dem aliniongelesha alafu pia madangu pia alikaa chini alinikalisha chini akaniongelesha achana na hiyo shughuli kabisa mm-hmm. jaribu utafute kazi mm-hmm. so the reason as why nilikuwa at least nime tafu, nime watafuta mm-hmm. Umejua kuacha crime ni kazi ngumu sana. Yeah, eh, it's very difficult kuacha crime. Mm. Alafu conning is a white collar crime. Yeah. Eh, wewe utakuwa tu unafanya kazi yako kuna any damu unamwaga. So ukifanya hii kazi utakuwa unaiona kama kazi ingi. Lakini bro at the end of it ujue kwamba 
pesa ya wizi imelaniwa. Mm. Eida umemwaga damu ama eida mtu anakulilia tu ya kwamba ah amenipora. Wacha Mungu atamwo. Mm. Ndio maana mimi ningependa kuambia wale ambao wanatazama hii show. Ya kwamba kwa hizo miaka zote nimeanza kufanya hii fraud 20 eh, 14 2015 yeah. you 2014 kuna genuine thing nilikuwa nafanya mm. kuna certain job nilikuwa nafanya mm. nilikuwa nafanya na KK company oh. eh, 2014 okay. lakini niliacha but ulikuwa umefunzwa 2012 2012 nilikuwa nimefunzwa hiyo kazi ah. nikaifanya for some time yeah. uncle yangu akakuja akanirecruit kwa KK okay, okay. sasa KK ile mshahara ili, tulikuwa tunalipwa 17k na tayari nilikuwa nimesha zoea big amani nikaona hii ni peanut kwangu ndio sasa nika achana na hiyo job nika endelea na ile kazi nika resume officially from 2015 nikafanya mpaka 2021 lakini siku kwa naifanya kila siku nilikuwa naifanya inafika wakati zingine napumzika naenda napiga sherehe juu sasa pe, pesa iko yeah. so ile kitu naweza nikaambia watu ni kwamba crime does not pay. Kwa ile muda yote nimechukua ile gari nilinunua, in fact hiyo gari ilinvolve kwa accident. Mm-hmm. Ikakuwa grounded kabisa. Nikaiuza kama grounded car. 35,000 peke yake. 35,000 peke yake. Ilikuwa grounded already. Mm-hmm. Eh? Na bado ilikuwa na number plate ya UG. Ilikuwa na number plate ya UG lakini sasa si mwenye alinunua, alipeleka tu maybe akachukua, akachomoa mm-hmm. parts. Mm-hmm. Uh, then apart from that Biashara zile nilikuwa nafungua. Zilikuwa zinaanguka. Ukifungua Mpesa unaeka, unaeka kadema na kuoperatia, dem anatoroka na do. Uh, ukipata dem uh, for example mnaanza kuishi ana shika mimba hivi kushika mimba. Ana miskari, anaenda ameenda hospitali unatumia do. <laughs> eh? So yani nimekuwa kwa ile il, maisha ya kutumia pesa. Eh? Alafu mimi pia uh, nilikwanga na ile generosity nyingine hapo abnormal. Alafu watu walikuwa wameshagundua ya kwamba niko na do mm. na mimi mtu akinikujia uniambia kwamba bro mimi niko na shida. Nikiwa na do na kupatia tu. Mm. Eh. So kuna wale, wale pia nimewasaidia saidia eh? mm. uh, I hope Mungu pia atanisaidia for all that. <laughs> eh? So all I can say crime does not pay. Saizi, I'm jobless. Mm. Na the challenge niko nayo saizi mm. ni ya kwamba sizi apply any job whatsoever. Mm. Juu nikijaribu ku apply naambiwa requirement good conduct. Ni good conduct. Good conduct haizi toka. Haizi toka. Mm-hmm. Juu nimekuwa blacklisted. Eh? Na ni procedure ndefu sana ili zile fingerprints zako zitolewe na CID. Mm. Eh, lazima utakuwa umehongana. So sasa hizi sina job. Eh? Zile biashara nilikuwa nafanya zilianguka. Mm. Pesa imeisha. Eh? Option 2 ni kurudi kwa ile kazi genuine. Marafiki pia nimepoteza. Hakuna mtu anataka ku associate na criminal. Mm. You the moment mtu ame ameonekana anatembea na wewe. Mm wana semanga show me your friend i show you who you are who you are yeah sasa that's uh, the challenge uh, part of it na pitia mm. uh, so far mm. Mm. wow yeah so when you talk a prison you di kwenu nilirudi nyumbani definitely na bado sai bado uko mtaani eh uh, nilirudi nyumbani nikakaa nyumbani mm. Sasa huku Nairobi nilikuja tu ku visit my friends sana sana nilikuja kutembelea bro mm. actually oh, okay. mm. yeah. yeah that's great mm. umesema unahitaji job what kind of a job are you do you have in mind okay mimi naweza fanya kazi yote bora tu it's a genuine thing iwe ni na deal na paperwork iwe ni kazi ya kuhitaji nguvu bora tu size ikue ni kitu legit mm-hmm. nipata mm. then apart from that uh, i've been writing songs eh? mm. 
Mm. In fact kuna msanii fulani anaitwa Beni Jachiga. Mm. Kuna wakati niliandika song fulani nikaenda nikashare na yeye. Akaniambia this one can be a very very nice song eh. So mm. niuzie. Akanipatia mm. 20k. Mm. Alienda akachukua hii song yangu aka remix. It uh, was a hit song eh. Mm. Sisi kama kuna certain song inaitwa Kazinde. Eh? Eh, there are some of the lyrics mm. yenye niliandika kwa song yangu mm. yenye alitumia. Oh, wow. eh, ili hit. Unfortunately Abeni Jachiga alikufa. Eh, mm-hmm. So I have some songs pia nimeshaziandika they are uh, almost 30. Mm. Niko sasa kwa ile miaka uh, kwa ile harakati ya record kuzi record eh? mm. so this one is also a project niko nayo chini ya maji mm. sasa pia ningependa at least uh, support whoever may be anaweza kan support anaweza kan support mm. nitashukuru mm. yeah That's kwa sababu ku record nyimbo moja wimbo mm. moja ni kama 10k in a good studio like barikiwa yeah. it's like 10k mm. Mm. and okay. uh, i have like uh, 30 but i want to start with uh, maybe 5 mm. mm. awesome yeah so if there is someone Moya mesikiza story yako na ana feel anaweza kuokolea anaweza kufikia through number gani? Okay in case um, mtu anaweza kani hitaji maybe for anything anataka maybe aniite maybe kwa kikao nifundishe kwa sababu kuna mm. zile institutions huwa zinaita watu wengine kuja uongee nao ma vijana mm. uh, peer uh, guidance unaweza ukani reach mm. Uh, maybe kama kuna any support unaweza ukanipatia kuna ka job fulani unataka tuchape na wewe ile genuine mm. unaweza ukani reach through these numbers mm. 0797314300 that's awesome. my safari com number that's great yeah awesome mm. since umetoka hapo hivi nje i know kuna opportunities mingi hata zimekupata wewe mwenyewe za kurudilia crime. Mm. Na pia najua kuna sasa bado wanapiga white collar crime. Mm. What advice would you give them? Okay, wale ambao wanafanya hii shughuli yenye nilikuwa nafanya. Mm. Uh, whatever I would like to tell you is that uh, you will not prosper with the criminal activities. Eh? Mm. It is very risky maybe your days are just numbered outside there na ujui mm, mm, mm. siku hizi watu wanachukua sheria mkononi mwao mm. mob justice iko yeah. unaweza shiko upelekwe prison utapoteza time mm. like in my case nimepoteza ndoa mm. nimepoteza time e, nimeishi kwa ile mazingira yenye haifai kwa sababu prison si mali pa pazuri pa kuishi mm. e, inapatiana ile kitu inaitwa mental torture mm. so The, ile, the advice I would like to give you is just akwamba leave whatever you are doing. Mm. Uh, just leave it. Mm. Try to get something genuine mm. to do. Hiyo tu. Awesome. Yeah. That's great. Mm. Si tu mfraya sana de no. Mm. Mina kombe to God akupe the grace to yeah. move on a life. Na since you are more to choose the right path mm. i know god is kuacha nyuma yeah it might take a day or a year or a year or even decades <laughs> or even a decade yeah but what i know god is a reward in god yeah at the moment to share repent mm. na shaa muambia kupe another chance yeah na sha kupea since I'm in prison. Mm. I know how things zitakuwa fresh. Yeah. So keep on hoping. Don't turn back. Yeah, I won't turn back. Don't turn back. Uh, I won't turn. Ama testimony God and as I'm mm. say uh, a good yeah. chance mm. ya could transform your mm. life. Yeah. So from me to you mm. hope that god atakupea something big na all shall be well okay so i'm hoping for the best yeah mm. so i said to me poor number dennis if you have a job opportunity yenye 
una feel inaweza muokolea in one way or another au pia unaweza msaidia in one way or another use his numbers fikia itakuwa ku fresh and if you have watched us to this far and you haven't liked this video kindly like this video na saidi anga sana na pia if you know that this story can inspire someone au pa hivyo mtaani share this video far and wide itakuwa ku fresh fresh kabisa so that was our time with Dennis na tunabudila ku request subscribe if you haven't subscribed it's the only way that you join the big Tuge family and until our next video if you have an interesting story that you love to share with us is in the number Z2 na follow us on each and every social media platform kama Tuge TV the guy ever behind the scenes and itango Dick Derek follow him on each and every social media platform and also follow me on each and every social media platform kama mtoto wa songo and until our next video tunaleni peace out thank you